to. Whoa, 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 it is April 22, Friday, baby. Join. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes. What's with the um, kawaii, love? I don't know. I just kind of felt a little bit kawaii today, so. Okay. Cute. Yeah. Loving that for you. Thank you. Joined by Hila, of course, is, which is why we love Friday so well. Hila, how are you? Thank you. I'm good. Now that I'm here, you look forget good. all worries. Do you really? No. I was like, wow. <laughs> you really love doing the show. <laughs> I do love it, though. <clears throat> all my worries are gone the minute Dan pushed that live button. Yeah. The minute I hear that two, one. Well, I'm happy to, first of all, thank our wonderful sponsors. What, 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 Mint Mobile. Thank you to Mint Mobile, our one and only sponsor. <clears throat> is saving more and spending less is one of your top goals for 2022? Yep. Why are you still paying insane amounts of money right. every month for wireless? Switch you to Mint Mobile is the easiest way to save this year as the first company to sell premium wireless service online only. Mint Mobile lets you maximize your savings with plans starting at just 15 bucks a month. Dan uses that. It's the same stuff. It works just as good. It's just cheaper. Mm. If you're using a major carrier, you're being scammed! It's true. It's true. You can use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same phone number along with all your existing contacts. And with Mint Mobile, choose the right amount of monthly data that's right for you and stop paying for data you never use. Get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped right to your door for free. Go to mintmobile.com. Slash after dark. That's mintmobile.com slash after dark. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash after dark. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> well done. Well done. How far you come on those ad reads, Ian? Yeah, you, you know, wherever you are. You know, we used to do the ad reads were brutal back, back, oh, back yes. in the day. Oh, yes, Ten minutes. <laughs> well, if that, remember when we started doing pre-recorded? <laughs> That's when it got real bad. That was when it got real bad. Rewind time. Ethan would stumble and be like, "Let's just start over," and we do that like oh, ten times. Oh my god! Yes. Sometimes we sit there for like thirty minutes. I swear. <laughs> no, it was brutal. Yeah, now well. you just blast through. Look at me. I've come such a long way. Do it What's live! the title of this episode? The title is Johnny Depp, Depp Aiden, Aiden Ross, Ross MK. MK. That's all we got. That's all we got. You want to call it Beans on Toast Extravaganza? That was I my mean, I feel like idea. that's more interesting than Johnny Depp, Aiden <laughs> Ross, MK. Damn. I can change it to Beans on Toast Special. The Beans <laughs> on Toast Extravaganza, man. We can think of a, we can think of a title. Maybe, uh, don't actually do that, Dan. Beans on toast? Do you think that's a better title? I, did, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> People want the fit check. For Ela, not me, right? Well. Not me. I don't have a fit check. But yeah, show them off. Because you got that Teddy Fresh drip. That looks... Yo, that shit looks really good. Wait, why do you have a pacifier necklace? That's kind of weird. <laughs> She's a raver. Pacifier yeah, what's going necklace? on? Where's the Rock? E at? She's raving. Can I suck on that? You know what's funny? That like... <laughs> Oh, it's a stone. You can't suck on it's it. It's nostalgic, but also not Why, because you used to be a baby? N no, remember like the little pacifier thing, like as a necklace. You know? What? I've never, never seen that yeah. trend. People used to do that. I've seen this pacifier candy. No. Oh, that was a very 2000s oh, thing. Oh, people used to do that? I didn't yeah. know that. I just, as I associate it with like ecstasy. It's a little related. It's not, but it's a little like party, I guess party attire mm. something about adults with pacifiers just gives me an ick because it reminds me of like age no play. son like diaper shit no <laughs> totally misreading what's next a necklace with a diaper so i was gonna say now that i'm a mom kind of have a little like new meaning to it right that's that mom but, bling um it's mom bling nothing, that's kind of an interesting design though. nothing icky here i'm just saying it just i don't like seeing Mo adult mom core like momcore aesthetic momcore okay momcore i'm just saying like in general <clears throat> adults with baby stuff is an ick i'm not i think no. it's fine i'm just saying like if i see someone at a concert with a pacifier in their mouth i don't like it okay well this is pretty far from having it in and then they're like, and then they're going like this yeah <laughs> <laughs> 
good time. You know they're having fun, though. Yep. <laughs> My jaw hurts just from that. You do that for, like, hours. <laughs> oh, so, okay. Before we get started, really interesting announcement. So we made uh, a little project with an artist called raptrading.co. That's where they're located. That's his, that's his website. Yeah. That's his website. I don't know what's, what's his... Well, he just goes by Rap Trading. Rap trading so, cards. yeah, raptrading.co. His name's Rap Trading. <laughs> oh, <I mean. laughs> and we made H3 trading cards. I'm trying to get the right angle. And this is just a fun project. We're not trying to make money or anything. The price is super low. Everyone's going to make money from this. It's, but it's, it's really just a fun project. And we, made, we only made like 350 cards because it was just... It was whatever. Well, you, we posted it on Twitter this morning, and they already sold out. So what we're going to do for everyone who wants to get their hands on it, it's only 25 bucks. I don't know if I mentioned that. And it, you get all these. You get all these cards? or do you Yeah, yeah. To, you get all of them, yeah. There's, oh. a, there's a, a pack on the table, too, if you want to show what the, the packaging looks like. Yeah, I'll open that. But, yeah, it's like a little booster pack. It comes in a whole booster pack here. Ian. <laughs> See? They're really cool. It's like the whole, tri it's Pokemon cards, but podcast. You see the back <laughs> of the pack, what it says? The back of the pack says 5% off. <laughs> <laughs> you can't read it really on camera. Is there any rare, like, uh, Ethan Mander mm. uh, special well, edition, all, Ethan Charmander? I think they're all foils, so, but the Ethan is definitely, that's a top tier card. Like, if you get it, if you get that one rated as, like, a 10... That'll be worth at least like thirty dollars. Well, we're only gonna do this one. <laughs> maybe, maybe. If you're lucky. Five percent. <clears throat> um, but but basically, uh, yeah, it's just a one-time thing. But we opened it up for because they sold out immediately, and I want everyone to get one who wants one. Uh, if you go to RapTrading.co, we'll take we'll take pre-sales. For how long? How long are we gonna do that for? Like a week or something? I don't know. Yeah, I think probably a week. Yeah. So we'll leave it open for a week, and it'll take like four to six weeks to produce and ship them. So if you don't mind waiting four to six weeks, then you can still get a pack at uh, raptrading.co. And I just added the link to the description, which I should have done before. And the, the whole show. gang's here. I wish you. Uh, I wish I could show a better, a better <clears throat> angle on it. Uh, I could. You could post on socials. Do yeah, it on my did phone. Already. Okay. But you know, it's got everyone. Who's my favorite? Oh, the Ethan's feet. I mean, that's a collector. Yeah, I think that one is my yeah, favorite. Maybe. Your feet. I'm glad we're able to monetize that image because I do love that. <laughs> and it's so sad that that I'm still sad the Wiki feet war is over. We lost. Um, I love Cam's one. Cam's is beautiful. Oh, wait a minute. The uh, <clears throat> Cam just linked our Instagram post. It's got uh, it shows them all. Oh, you want to just show that? Yeah. You sure? Because I'm holding this. Okay. Well. <laughs> Roll it. I mean, do you, I mean, you get the idea, right? You can see them all on the website, I'm sure, on Rap yeah. Trading. But here you go. They're shiny. They're beautiful. It is what it is, and it ain't what it ain't, right, AB? Right. Here's the pack. They come in this. There you go. RapTrading.co. So <laughs> fun. It's a fun project, isn't it? It is. <sighs> Can you reply like that to in it? It is. It in. It in. I mean, I mean, <laughs> sure. Yeah, you can. You can do anything you want. Cool. Uh, oh, BTS, thank you to members. 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 Mem what is this? You have a trailer, Amy? Yeah, I put together a little... Uh, couple minutes showing this uh, is a little preview for this week's behind the scene uh oh, members get access to a exclusive bts it's for all of our lovely members this week we will have creators featured such as idubs anisa minx sfan michael reeves friend of the show eric from internet comment etiquette want to get some nachos and some wine yeah. Yeah. and much much more including some light sparring between me and idubs I'm about to spar with Idubs live on S Fan's stream. No pressure, just millions of people to see this video. Amy said before this, he's too much of a fan, so he doesn't want to punch me in the head. So you guys just got to chant in the chat, punch Idubs in the head. Did you really tell him that? 
<laughs> I told him I was weird going all out on him. I oh, didn't say I, you. I didn't say because I was a fan. Don't get jealous. The symptom, though. The symptom is real. The symptom is a disease. <laughs> Dumb motherfucker, AB. <laughs> Some actual training footage of me for those of you who have been asking. All day. Did you do all day? All day, baby. Anyway, uh, you guys get it. It's all there. It's all happening. Check it out. Thank you, AB. Yes. And I apologize that I don't have the other members of the squad in this one, but. Yeah, this one was a lot. It's all AB huh. all the time. Interesting. Mm -hmm. well, that is no, interesting. It's, it's, the wow. it's kind of the AB Eric show. And and wow. We've been here all week. <laughs> Doing Work. what? What have we been doing? We, we had oh, I don't know. Anything. Just put in on a show, three shows a oh, week. Yeah, they see it. Yeah. You guys were drunk the other day. I couldn't record shit. Hmm. You were sober. Yeah, I know, but I mean, what am I going to... A drunk hooligans? That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Dude? Yeah. No, you know what? Zach just wanted to keep grabbing the bottle and standing in front of the camera. <laughs> that but BTS wouldn't exist without AB. So you, if you want to film your asshole and put it up there, I don't care. Appreciate it. <laughs> just a close-up of your asshole just for 20 just minutes. <laughs> I'd probably actually get more views. Yeah. You'll yeah, have actually. to uh, become a member to find out. <laughs> AB only fans on uh, H3 podcast mm -hmm. members. Mm -hmm. Got big dick energy. Big dick energy, but a small dick. <laughs> that's what he. That's what he said. Maybe his words. Anyway, whatever. Let's move on. Um, yo, 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 yo. Zach, you got sick after our last. Uh, two, guess who's drunk? Guess who's high? Mm -hmm. I was hammered, dude. Yeah, it was rough. It was a rough. Uh, it was a rough evening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you, you watched that. Episode. I, I love that episode. It was so much fun. But Zach got hammed up and. Um, yeah, it was uh it the was minute the camera too. stopped, I could tell that he was already coming down hard. Yeah, it was uh I was wasted, dude. It was bad. How'd you feel, Ian? Like shit. I felt so <laughs> Really? God yeah. we're all getting so old. <laughs> I was kinda trying to drink to match Zach, but Zach's like a big dude mm. and probably has a higher tolerance for me. So mm. um yeah. I uh I could barely open my eyes. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, you I, held it together well. I didn't realize you were that trashed. Not at the time, but that night, I oh, was man. like, I I had like an ice helmet on and like oh my ice. goodness, you did. yeah, that was killing me. I had the spins when I got home really bad, <clears throat> so that was fun. Jesus, you know, you know how I felt. Did you feel <laughs> Dan? Completely fucking fine. Wow, Daniel Swordlow. which is why weed is better than alcohol. Okay, then. Okay, Dan. I'm just saying. Just saying. <laughs> All these guys are hung over. Zach called in sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't come into work yet. It's, that's fair enough because, I mean, it was for the show, so. Yeah, but. Uh, but it was really fun um, hearing about everybody's, like, dads and family and things like that. And also sad uh, to hear about Camille. 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 But um, it was a great episode. Yeah, it was a great episode. Well, we've got a great episode here today. In fact, you know, we've had trouble with our sponsors. We have one today, which is great. Uh, but actually, a new one reached out to me on Twitter last night around, well, when was this sent? At 10 p.m. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Stake.com, the crypto, the crypto <laughs> gambling site that we're constantly uh talking shit about they're the ones who have a hut in barbados <laughs> uh curacao yeah i know i'm just <laughs> <laughs> little they, meme cross couple, over there. The, uh they're the ones that have a hut in curacao and are sponsoring drake and all this nonsense they're they're like two weeks i mean maybe like two years away from being incarcerated and being on the run from the fbi <laughs> they tweeted this out to me h3 podcast sponsored by steak from their fit i was just like is this how they're is this them like hitting back at us? What? Yeah, they're trolling you for sure. But it's so bad. It's like such a bad, stupid meme. <laughs> you'd think if you were gonna swing back, you'd do something more interesting than this. I just think it's interesting, um, them posting this clearly means that that whole thing that we did bothered them. It's on the radar. You know what I mean? Like, 
Before this, I would have assumed that they had no idea that that discussion was even happening. But they know because the chances that peop the people who own Stake are just they're running this like billion dollar company. They're just some like mid twenty year old shitheads who stumbled mm -hmm. into this mm -hmm. from one from the previous scam to the next, and it ended up getting bi like way too big. And now they're like, we own Stake from a hut in Curacao. Just, like, tell me, just tell bad. Tell me, whoever you are that owns Stake.com who tweeted this, did you tweet this from your hut in Curacao or your fucking penthouse in Toronto or <laughs> wherever the fuck you live? Right. You know. I'll be laughing when you go to jail, though. Well, and by the way, you gotta work on your Photoshop skills, my dude. Yeah. That's some dog shit right there. <laughs> so, so, but they, then did they also made a hut joke? Well, I think, it, isn't it or the is picture that... of a hut behind you? Okay, yeah. so that's the Not image. Not the hut, but... They, do, they are making a hut joke, right? Wait, did they edit that, or was that from the episode we did? Oh, they edited that. Yeah. Yeah. So... Okay. That's an old photo I think they're goofing That's on an them. old photo of you. Really old. Yeah, I don't even think that why photo you of you is even it? from that episode. But like, no, no, why would you even photo. grab that one? It's just so <laughs> odd. The whole thing is so odd. Yeah. Yeah, so guys, go over to stake.com if you want to be able to never get your money out and have untraceable crypto deposits. <laughs> I guess now he's just having a big joke out of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would rather fucking die than take your blood money, to be honest. Not die, let's not put it that partially. I'd rather take money from... Who would I rather take money from? Die! I'd rather take money from Alpha Brain. Mm. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> yeah, I guess. I can guess we, so. Can we do a shitty know. sponsor, like a a shitty sponsor tier list? Like, who'd be the worst? <laughs> like, there's Alpha Brain. There's like um. <clears throat> there's Relativity you know steak. Media. Relative. <laughs> <laughs> triller. That's not, yeah. They're just triller. Triller. Triller's triller. fine. I mean, that's it's honestly fine. And there's like nothing wrong with it. You hear that, Triller? If he Reach wanted out. to pay, if Ryan wanted to pay me, I'd happily take his money. Be like, yo, <laughs> apparently there's an app called Triller. <laughs> Could you imagine just one day you're suddenly pretending you'd never heard of them before? I just so found out about this great new app. <laughs> guys, there's a great new app called Triller. It's really exciting. It's going to knock TikTok on its feet. <laughs> Triller, my thing's flipped. Well, anyway. What about Fashion Nova? I would definitely never work with Fashion Nova. But, but, but Steak, Fashion Nova? I think Steak is worse. I think it's worse? Okay. What do you think, Hila? Um, I'll just follow your lead because I don't know much about either one. Well, at least with Fashion Nova, you get something for your money. I mean, that's not... Pro I mean, I'm sure you can get your money from Steak. Are you sure? Yeah, why are I think you the sure? Biggest, well, the biggest problem with Steak is that they're clandestinely advertising to literal children on Twitch. Why are you sure you can get your money out from Steak? Because it's a... I mean, millions of people use it. There would be people talking about <laughs> that all Google the time. Search, JB. A problem with drawing money from Steak. I'm sure it's fine. Stick your finger... <laughs> Why are you so sure? Who paid you? Who got to you, Dan? I <laughs> see Dan <laughs> playing <laughs> the roulette sometimes. Check, I see Checks it. in the mail, right? Someone Dan got to Dan. I, 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 I see him playing roulette. He's like, come on, baby, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Yo, by the way, 82 likes, massive pull for this platform. <laughs> but don't you think, it, like, if you're following Steak and you're, like, a fan of this huge casino and they're shitposting memes, I just find that a little questionable. Like, are they really going to pay you out if they're shitposting memes? I don't know. Uh, that's a I'm only seeing a small amount of Reddit posts connection. saying they're having problems with drawing their money. But no, Okay. Like... Yeah. Not that much? No. Okay. I mean, the thing is that they okay. don't have any money to withdraw. They lose it all. That's the point. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's a good it's point. Ri it's rigged before. <laughs> right. That's a really good point, love. Yeah. Who Who's withdrawing money from gambling, exactly? Steak. Now, can we talk about some really interesting stuff, if you don't mind? Sure. I wanted to give... Um, the people an update mm. that we have watched and still watching the real housewives of potomac right oh lots yeah. of housewives fans i guess in the in the show yeah and they were heavily suggesting um, that one how is it that's the one that that won 
the poll that we did on yeah. which one we should watch. So we've been watching it. We watched like we're on season six now. We started at <laughs> one. Wow. It's just down. Uh, it's <laughs> frankly not group. been worth it. It's been a lot of work. Yes, it is. Uh, there's been some payoff, but I can't say it's been worth it. Salt Lake City is just the best. Those ladies are so nuts. I think the Tillman. I mean, these ladies are pretty crazy, but those Salt Lake City ladies are on. And I don't know. Uh, it's just it's a lot of investment. You really got to sit there and just listen to these women, these vapid fucking women, talk about <laughs> bullshit for a long time before they start pulling each other's hair. Which and did happen. It did happen. <laughs> One of them got into an good. actual fight, what, what, what? and uh, she started pulling her hair. And they're they're black women, so she like pulled her wig off and shit. And they filed dueling police reports for second degree assault. I mean, this sounds pretty juicy. No, it's that so was great. Juicy. But I'm telling but you, but it took like multiple seasons to get <clears throat> to this. Bro, five. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's a lot of buildup. But like that, that moment was great, like straight up pulling hair, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then the producers break him up, and then one of the girls runs around the back and tries to attack her again. She's oh. like, oh, "Give me that bitch! Where's that bitch?" <laughs> okay, that's pretty epic. <laughs> and like demonically possessed, and they would never apologize to each other. And um, one of them got kicked off the show. She just mysteriously disappeared after season five. The one that attacked her. Oh, that was yeah. good. That was good. So, <clears throat> the biggest thing is that Beverly Hills comes back in May. Are we already in May? It comes back in May. No, no, yeah. And that one is going to be fire. I don't care about it. Yes, you do. I'll watch it. Because Erica though. Jane. That's true. I am interested. So, Erica Jane is one of the Beverly Hills housewives. And she is, she is in my opinion, the most annoying of them from the mm. beginning. She's married to this big time, super rich lawyer. And she has this like horrible music career. I mean, she's like 40 and she's trying to become a pop star. She has no talent. And they're just oh. pouring millions and millions of dollars into her absolutely yeah. failed musical career. I, you know, I know about that? Uh, yeah, I know about it. Even I've never seen the show, but yeah, and the lawyer. Yeah. I'm getting to that. I right. It's like a crazy story, right? Very we, crazy. Yeah. I think we may have already talked about it on the show, but. So it came out in the last season that her husband, the super rich lawyer, was actually. So when he, he's like a. He does like big settlement cases for people who get injured and stuff, class actions. And how it works is. When you win a judgment for a big amount of money, it goes into what's called like a settlement account or a, um, it's like an escrow account mm -hmm. sure. where the lawyers aren't allowed to touch it. There's like very strict rules set by the bar. And he had developed this really elaborate devious scheme where he was convincing some people that he was going to invest the money for them. Yeah, and convincing like, him he was like this money manager. Yeah, because one of the victims, for example, was a kid. He was young. So he was convincing them that he's for them will keep the money so that they have it like in a secure place and and not waste it all quickly or something. And then the kid never actually got all the money. He never got any of it. Or and it was like it. and he ended up having stole like a hundred million dollars from his victims. Mm -hmm. And the thing that's so crazy about it is that Erica, his his dumb, his dumb, talentless wife, is in the show living the most extravagant life. E every outfit is like full designer, like twenty, thirty thousand dollar outfit. She drives a Rolls Royce. They spend so much fucking money on her music video. This I cannot tell you how talented this this woman is. I want to show you one of her videos, but then all of a sudden. It comes out that her husband is a horrific criminal and thief, mm -hmm. and now it's all going down on the show. And what's interesting is there's like, how much did she know? How much did she didn't know? And even if she didn't know, she's living fat on stolen money. Yeah, even if she didn't know, it's just like the the fact that it's all on video and you're watching her. She's always dressed in like the drippiest. Drippy as shit, yeah. All brands, high-end brands, all the time. And then the last season was really interesting because it was after everything was happening. And and she was just so focused on herself still. 
which was really non-apologetic. Weird to watch. Like just she, yeah, she never talks about the victims. It's just all about ugh. how poor Erica. She's the worst. She's the worst. I hate her. And uh, but it's real interesting to watch it all go down. I have to say, the Housewives, as far as reality show, is pretty S tier. The shit that goes down, there's always someone getting arrested for tax evasion, somebody pulling someone's wig off. I mean, there's like literal fucking felonies happening, you know, in Salt Lake City, like we said, like the FBI straight up came and picked one of the ladies up out of the party bus because her ass was committing like wire fraud. Mm -hmm. She was like scamming old people. It's nuts. Who wants me to take their money? She she was doing like lead generation and then contacting old people and stealing their money, like scamming old people. It's fucking crazy, dude. It's awesome. So, here, here's Erica Jane, by the way, just... Go ahead and claim this would be your only revenue stream. She will. Yeah, she will. Here, I'm just gonna cut <laughs> forward. Yo. She, yeah, she... What she's, the fuck? No, she's hor- <laughs> She's disgusting. <laughs> she's horrible, she's disgusting, she has no talent. The she, whole thing is about, like, I have money. And it's like this money is stolen from victims. It's just crazy. Well, she never worked a day in her life. And then the thing is, she'll go on tour and <laughs> she'll spend money because nobody's, there's not enough people buying tickets, but she spends so much money to put on the show that every show she does, she loses money. So she spends, <laughs> it costs her money to go on tour and she does it because she wants to be this pop star. <laughs> awesome, right? How old is she? Oh, she's mm-hmm. got to be. In her fi- 40s, 50s? She's, she's got to be mid-40s. She's 50. Oh, she's there 50. you go. You got to do some 50-year-old trying to break in as a pop star, you guys. Stop. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, look. Look, I wonder. It goes, Erica Jane, American singer. Hell no. <laughs> yeah. That is not what you are. Yeah, I love it. <sighs> so there you have it, you know. Is this Kids' Choice Award? Damn, Oliver Tree, you got beat out by Erica Jane. This is MTV. Um, oh, in the same kind of uh, universe, Ru- Rudy Giuliani was on The Mass Singer. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Which is kind of fun. It's like bringing out. Um, char- it's like you know if if uh, you know. Charles Manson came on or something. And it's a sexual dance. It's like nobody would see it coming. Uh, he's such a dis- Why are they doing this? Why are they trying to make like these fucking traitors cute? Is that an older clip? It was during the height of bullshit. It wasn't even. Oh, really? It just aired. Oh. But it was shot during like the outside the sex shop trying to overthrow uh, <laughs> the election era. I think right, Dan. The I think so. I'm trying to find exactly when face. it was recorded. I know it was. It, they were sitting on it for a good while before it aired. Disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> Disgusting. Actually, a few of the judges walked off, which I thought it was good. Really? Yeah. yeah. You'll see it in this clip. So they didn't know that he was gonna come. Well, that's the whole point. Is you have to guess who's there. Okay, I never watched this. Well, who the fuck would guess Rudy Giuliani? My God. Well, that show like keeps it so like secret. Mm. Like it, it's very, very intense on how secret they keep the contestant being on. And today, the mass singer is um... a little Nas. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> it's a nice. doing a sexual dance <laughs> a sexual sexual dance anal sex <laughs> oj simpson as stabby the knife Before I met you, I'm done. I'm he's bailing he's like i'm done i'm done I'm just going to mute it, but you get the idea. I don't know if he was walking out because it's Rudy. I think he's walking off because it was just shit. <laughs> I think he walked out because it's Rudy. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, of course. But He's like, I'm done with this shit. <laughs> I just don't. What the fuck happened to television? I stopped watching like five years ago. That's kind of the <laughs> truth, isn't it? 
like we have um <laughs> we have direct tv or whatever but we never use it never right. who would be your favorite um mass singer contestant a housewife <laughs> introducing <laughs> From maximum uh, security state penitentiary, I would want your Karen. favorite sexual uh, criminal. What? Karen from Potomac. <laughs> James Charles, and on his shoulders, a twelve-year-old boy. Who is the the housewife that went to prison for? I think it was tax evasion. I think housewives in New Jersey. Oh yeah, we haven't watched New Jersey yet. <sighs> God, there's too much of that <laughs> shit. It's crazy. Yeah, her and her but, husband, I think, went. Yeah, I heard. Yeah, I heard. They went to jail. Yeah, I haven't even watched. But yeah, I heard they actually just went to the slammer. <laughs> and tax evasion happens. Pretty much, you can bet one character in every season is going to jail for for tax even evasion. Even in Potomac, like the <laughs> evasion didn't happen, but two of the characters were having articles about them not paying taxes. Well, and then they had to pay it, but. Hey, what's up? Hello. Uh, what's up, Gabe? Let's go. <laughs> it's Friday and we're cruising, baby. Cruising, cruising down the street in my six four. Slapping the B words, hitting the H's. <laughs> Went to the park to get the scoop. Not Just careful, head. careful, careful. <laughs> That's a vulgar song, there, buddy. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? Where are you driving to? We're going to Coachella. Really? Well, are you serious? Just... Gabe for Coachella? Yeah. Are you performing? Uh, what is it? Are you performing? I'm, I'm watching. Oh, you're watching. <laughs> I'm watching and partying. <laughs> what artist are you going there to see specifically? We're trying to see The Weeknd. Baby Key. And Baby Key. Okay. Okay. Is this your Coachella outfit? Is that your drip? Because they're supposed to dress up all drippy for Coachella. Is that your drip? Uh, we, 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 got, we got it. It's in, the, it's in my um, suitcase. <laughs> oh. Can you... I want to make sure to see what outfits you wear when you go. I want to see sure. your, your drippy outfit. Yeah. We just Ooh. stopped and have on it. It's Friday, baby. Friday for Coachella. Ow. Friday for Coachella. Fuck, baby. Fuck yeah. Fuck, baby. Ow, 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 ow. ow, ow. Fridays for Coachella, baby. Ow. <laughs> are you going to meet some girls there, or are you just going to take it easy? Hopefully someone I like. Friday. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, Hell yeah. I'll take it easy. <laughs> yeah. Well... How far of a drive is it from? I know you guys live in LA. How far is it? It's in Palm, Palm uh, Springs. Two and a half hours. hours. Okay, that's not Probably bad. Probably of traffic. <laughs> that's not bad. What do you drink yeah. to keep awake when you drive? You chug Red Bulls. You like to coffee. Uh, what just, do you do? Just a Coke. Just a Coke. That's good. You're a sweet Coke. man. You're a good man. Diet or regular? Okay, <laughs> regular. Yeah, oh. good man. Good man. Yeah. Wow. Oh it's no shit. Pussy shit baby. Hell no. Hell, Hell no. no. <laughs> Regular no. Coke is kind of hardcore. Oh, yeah. What, Ela? Regular Coke, that's pretty hardcore. Yeah, uh, it is hardcore. That, yeah. I mean, they're, they're, I, I, I'm past the days of my life where I can drink regular Coke. But Gabe's <laughs> hardcore. Gabe is hardcore. <laughs> that stuff keeps me awake. I don't need coffee. Just, just a Coke and I'm good. <laughs> Ow! Oh, no oh, no oh, I think your feed died, but we can still hear you. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, is he gone? And he's gone. All right. Well, <laughs> Gabe is headed to Coachella. He's always off. To, that man is always up to something. Yeah, yeah, always. People in the chat pointed out, of course, he's going for the weekend. He's all about weekends. Right. It's the weekend, baby. That's a good observation. Yeah. He lives for the weekend. Yeah, um, baby. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh,. Uh, by the way, before we move on, um, we have this little uh, beans and toast uh, taste test thing. Mm. Oh my God. It's going to take Sam about 10 minutes to prepare for I was it, though. putting this off. Okay. 
You, you Why are you putting it off so bad? He's well, scared. we were talking about how English breakfast breakfast is just horrid. Was that after the show or on the show? No, it was on the show. Okay, it was a little bit on the show, but the we had conversation like a, continued. After we had a that. really in-depth oh. conversation after the show about how <laughs> disgusting English breakfast is. And Cam was looking at it like he thought it was a troll. I was like, bro, that's serious as a heart attack. Like, people, act, they eat that shit. <laughs> I said, the that's why they... that you are so against it because Mexican food has been in it. That is that's what I not, brought up. It's not that's the what same. I brought up. Now, that said, the pictures of it look horrific. This and I'm is, not that no, excited these are, This is picturesque. Either. Look, this is... I, saw, I just typed traditional English breakfast. Yeah, I mean, that looks good, except for the blood pudding shit. Blood, oh wait, 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 we were finding some really funny pictures. Um, but, it's the blood of God. look at this shit, that, that, that's fucked. A plate of baked beans. <laughs> what that, did you call that, pet, uh, soldiers? And... I don't know, I kind of don't see it as bad as you are. I think maybe it's because Americans have this association with baked beans, they're like sweet, Smoky beans, and it just, I can't imagine those flavors mixing. It's just disgusting. It's just weird to me when you're so about Mexican food. It's like, this is being how, open minded. It's oh my being, god, Ela, this is not, flavor. this is nothing like Mexican no, food. I Why know would you that even it's say that? Like it, but <laughs> beans, beans in breakfast is very bizarre to begin with, but it's, you already uh, do that. This is baked beans. This is sweet. Oh, it's disgusting. See, when I, yeah, because when I look at like, that's everything. Yeah, I mean that looks bomb, and that's yeah. not that. That's far balanced. Away. It's beautiful. It's it's the flavors are there. It's not sweet, nasty fucking beans on white bread. Right. Okay, so but one of the th and eggs together is kind of a fire combination. Not those beans. So here's one of the things that they do. Okay, that that we think is extremely. Gr it's baked beans on toast. It, I'm sorry, but this is fuck. If you ever looked at an English person, you're like, look at this guy. This is what, that's why they look like that. It's because they eat this. And we went, and I, what? what? And I, I love my English fans, so don't take me what wrong. What are you oh even God. saying? I love, I love the English. Look at this. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Oh my God. Well, anyway, we've been talking a lot of shit about the English, and we love the English, don't we, folks? Well, I wish that I had an English accent. You know, it's like these Ian guys... Ian is interfering. He's, he's fighting back. You That's fine, that? Ian. What is he saying? He's putting the English hear. flag. Oh, here. <laughs> uh, okay. uh, Mrs. Oak, uh, Queen Elizabeth, pass the beans, please, darling. Oh, I just shit my knickers. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, anyway... Beans and toast is one of the most foul dishes, in my opinion. So we're going to test it out. Sam has prepared some beans on toast, and we're going to okay. try it out. Sounds like I she's just want to right say, now. American breakfast is also kind of bizarre. I mean, because, it's disgusting, but it's bomb. Yeah. It's like very but it's unhealthy, like, but it's so, bomb. So unhealthy. You guys eat pancakes for breakfast. Hell yeah, we do. And you know how, like what, what? And how do pancakes taste? Pancakes Amazing. That is not breakfast food. Then why do you it's order it when we go? You get on a birthday party. Then why do you order pancakes <laughs> when we go out for breakfast? Because oh, it's America. <laughs> called out. I have. No, assembled. you're right. You're you're right. I mean, listen. No, nobody gonna. I have wished. Yo, how does that look? Really breakfast. How does that breakfast? look right there, boy? <laughs> Beans on toast. Five stars. <laughs> <laughs> That's a five star recipe. Israeli breakfast is the best breakfast. What does that consist uh, of usually? It's probably the same thing. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I feel the same. Middle Eastern has the best breakfast. You know what's just confusing me is the they English colonized... Healthy. The English colonized the whole fucking world. And this, and they, and this is all they got out of that? <laughs> they picked up all of the spices, all the cuisines that could have been the perfect melting pot. And no, this is what racial supremacy looks like. This is why you tell white supremacists you're wrong and you'll always be wrong. Because this is what you eat for breakfast. <laughs> you're fucked in the head. Multiculturalism forever. Goodbye. <laughs> I am, of course, a white supremacist. Here, here let journey. me type Israeli breakfast yes, just to represent you. Let's represent. It's shakshuka, which is okay. Not it's not a great meal. That's not a typical. You mean like this? No, that's not Israeli. This. What are you looking at? Millions this. of yeah, Jews. Yeah, open, zoom in on that. All right. You get a solid. Have you guys heard about that? Salad for breakfast?
eggs with herbs, that some healthy, delicious. yummy bread yeah, that really is not good. dry. Some grape leaves. Some healthy, tasty cheeses, all kinds of them. Olives. Things healthy. Cheese. No, I'm jo I'm just joking about how Ela describe it. <laughs> some healthy, beautiful yeah, cream like cheese. Yeah, like cottage cheese. Some wonderful, enriching some, uh, jam. Garlic cheese. It is most. It is much healthier though. I'm just kidding. Way healthier than a pile of pancakes. But that cheese ain't healthy. Come on. But it's like part of a balanced meal. It's balanced. Yeah, it's part of a balanced meal. But it is very nice. You get like guacamole, sour cream, lebane, tabbouleh salad. Uh, cottage cheese. The cottage cheese in Israel is way better, by the way. Grape leaves. Love the herbs. It's just the omelet in Israel, Middle East, it's not what we think. When you order omelet, they're like, cheese, fucking bacon, sausage, let's go. <laughs> and in Israel and probably all in the Middle East, omelet just means like egg. It's just egg. And then if you want herbs, which is like cilantro and parsley and dill, then they put it in there. It tastes but, like beef jerky. Yeah, it's a great meal. I agree. It's also, great. Also, yes, I am throwing shade at, 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 at food <laughs> in general. <laughs> food. And it might be because my mom just went back to Israel, and I'm very bitter mm. about having nothing to eat again. Because she's been cooking for you guys yeah. the last couple months? Yeah. That's fair. I cook for you every night. No, you do, but, you know, my mom's gone. Okay. <laughs> Just saying. Somebody said British canned beans are not quite as sweet as the American version. Beans on toast is good. Get over it, Ethan. Well, I'm gonna try it right now. We're gonna try it, and we we're, we got the the Heinz the blue can. That seemed to be we did a little bit of research, and that seemed to be the definitive one for beans on toast. I'm sorry if you disagree with that. Don't yell at me. But here's, that's what we're that's what we're working with here. Here's Lebanese breakfast, Davey. You were telling me about it. You got the that zatar stuff. Oh, zatar, yeah. zatar. <laughs> what is this? Uh, that's probably a cheese pie. A cheese pie? Yeah. Mm -hmm. A chipney pie. They were so good. I love it. Olives, vegetables, mint. Yeah, yeah it's Mediterranean, out. you know? It's like, it's nice. I agree, the American breakfast is by far the most fucked up. But, it is good. It is good. You see them, <laughs> them IHOPs are full as hell on Sunday morning. <laughs> How full are they at, like, say, 2 a.m., Ethan? Uh, Lena corrected me. Not, that it's not, not they're empty, pie. which means which is why you nobody like it. would see me there. <laughs> <laughs> see, that doesn't look bad, but nobody eats that. Uh, I mean, I eat that. That looks bomb. No, I would eat that, but like that's not a dish you would get at a restaurant. I'm, lit I'm telling you that that's like what I get when I go to Denny's. Exactly that. You get this is at Denny's. Yeah. What's this the shit? Potatoes. A side of green onion, like well, that. It's just a garnish. I mean, yeah. You don't get garnish. <laughs> Mag, now this is what potatoes. I'm talking about, people. I would eat the shit out of that. <laughs> I, would, I would fuck that. Actually, this doesn't even look like, in terms of the really disgusting calorie meals you can get at Denny's, that's not even that bad. Um, oh my god, back to the English breakfast. Look at this nightmare. <laughs> With those tomatoes, what? That's just like a pile of tomatoes. Pile of tomatoes, mushrooms. Blood and then huge, it's not, it's like, this is not healthy. This is not healthy. Yeah, that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell me, which one would you but rather eat? You know eat? what I love? American? H hash browns. Versus English. Um. I, I, the, the. The whole thing of like so many tomatoes really throws me off. It's not. <laughs> what nice. are you supposed to do with so many tomatoes? <laughs> and why are they on the vine? So if yeah. you try to take them off, they're just gonna pop. Those look cooked, at least. the The first picture just looked like a bunch of raw tomatoes. I'm definitely going American on this, just because. I'm kind of with Elon on the pancakes thing. I I I used to eat pancakes a lot for breakfast when I was a kid, but over the years, it it has kind of occurred to me that this is sort of a bizarre thing to be it's having so first bizarre. thing It's so bizarre. That's not something you should eat regularly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, pan pancakes is probably one of the worst <laughs> foods you can eat, period. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. literally just flour, and sh it's like the definition of empty It's a dessert. Calories. It's like saying you eat chocolate cake every morning. Yeah, and then you pour sugar syrup on it. Yeah, <laughs> and <laughs> butter. And butter, yeah. <laughs> hash browns, though. Hash browns are bomb. Love hash That's browns. That's an American invent, I'm pretty sure. 
I don't know. Maybe. Look at that. Ward yourself until you're on the verge of vomiting. <laughs> Alrighty. I do every day. So anyway, um, as we wait for our uh, beans on toast, mm -hmm. um, Tim Polk's been coming after me, Ela. Did you know that? No, I'm off Twitter, by oh. the way. Yeah, I know. Congratulations. Okay, wait. The beans on toast is coming, so let's just get... Oh, let's shit. Let's get this over I with. urge everybody oh, to okay. join the movement that Dan probably started <laughs> and many other people. Just get off Twitter. Just get off it. Delete it. I've Delete been thinking it. a lot about it. Thank you, Sam. So here you go. Oh, we got tea. Wait, is there cheese under it or something? No, no cheese. What's that sauce? Oh, butter. Uh, okay, Ooh. so there's bu it's a buttered toast. Yeah, it looks with like beans on it. Looks and like the picture. Is that Ian approved? Like, is this Ian? Yeah, is this the real deal? Authentic. I th I think it is. If the toast is a little crunch, a little crunchy. It looks crunchy this and the buttered. Right beans? Yeah, is this the right beans? Because everyone goes, oh, they're not baked beans. What are they? Uh, again, we got we got the blue can beans that when I was looking into it, it everybody seemed to indicate the That's Heinz, the right one. The blue can, yeah. All right, so here we go, baby, right. to the English, to the, the English, English Empire, and the, and all the best it can produce. I'm half Scottish, so I'm gonna skip the pretty sweet the toast to the English, but I don't hate it. Listen, I wouldn't say I hate it, but would you eat that? Would you want to eat that? Let me try it going for one more Sometimes, bite. Sometimes, yeah. Really? I've been talking shit. I gotta say, I think this is winning me over. This is pretty good, and it's actually it's just good baked for beans. You. It's not bad. Beans are good for you. Not these beans, it's like cooked in sugar and syrup and shit. Still beans. Said, the thing said it was in tomato sauce, although I agree it tastes pretty sugary, so probably that. It's well. not that bad. It's not, not that bad. I leak grow a little bit. I called my grandma before the show and asked her, I was like, what's what's the deal? <laughs> it's like, you can get three cans for, for two pounds fifty. It's quick, it's a good <laughs> snack, it's filling, and it's got a lot of vitamins. That's what she said. You see, that's, Got a lot I, of vitamins. that's why I like this, actually. Because it's not just all bad for you. Well, it's white bread and butter. That's all bad. And then the beans, which is healthy, but they're cooked in I'm sugar. I'm just, in my head, I'm comparing it to going out for breakfast here. And what are my options usually on the menu? Mm -hmm. A bunch of stuff I can't, I won't eat, like sausage and bacon. And then, what else? Is there on the menu usually? You would never order this. Why? Okay, next time we go out for breakfast, I tell them, you know what? I want some damn toast and beans. They have this here? Maybe. Some places I'm sure do. Uh, I please, don't think you're, get, you're getting you, an identity. Nina, or anything. take this away from me. <laughs> please. I got you. My dad said it's kind of like a thing of like, you know, when your parents are working all day and you don't, you don't have a lot of cash lying around, you just get that, this. It's and definitely it's like a filling. nice, affordable it's not filling. Not some big delicacy or anything like that. That makes sense, you know. It's a nice, affordable, oh, kid-friendly. Yeah, the Earl Grey too? Nice. The Earl Grey is nice. But overall, I definitely think that it, it tastes pretty good. Yeah, it's a nice snack. Yeah. Frankly, I, I'm going to... I'm going to say that I was wrong. It's really not that bad. <laughs> and especially, I can, I can see, like, if you grew up on it, then it would probably be even exactly. better. I can definitely see that. We're learning and growing. In the We're market. growing. Opening but aesthetically, they can do better. Aesthetically is not pleasing. There's a problem there. They can do better. Visually. We have traveled the world. Your Majesty, we have traveled the whole world. We have conquered half of it. We have seen all the exotic foods in the world. And today, we serve to you. Something here. Baked beans on white toast, your majesty. Oh, hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Can you imagine serving that to like, uh... I don't know, man. It's just, it looks weird, okay? Can I tell you what's my next favorite breakfast? Um, huevos rancheros. Oh, hell yeah. Mexican. Well, that's a great dish. That's like the S -tier. best. There's no problem with that. It's a great dish. The best. Yeah. 
All right, well, there you go, guys. Beans on toast. You sure you don't want me to change the title to the Beans on Beans Toast? On toast uh, criticism and uh, yeah. thesis. The breakdown. The truth about Beans on Toast. <laughs>
some VPNs are like probably that kind of stuff. Maybe Alpha Brain. I yeah, Alpha know. Brain. Incel Brain. Incel Brain. Uh, we are sponsored by the uh, White National Socialism uh, Movement Party, and we have never lost a sponsor. Top halves of the Head for America Party. The first sponsor that I had ever had on YouTube, Virtual Shield, sponsors us. Virtual Shield? Who, you call what? it. I mean, that sounds it, like a VPN. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They don't care. Vir VPNs notoriously don't care. They're like, listen, half of our clients are pedophiles and Nazis, so we don't care. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm not going to draw a line in the sand. It is a VPN. Exactly. VPNs never drop. Also, if I, I had to guess... I could be wrong on this, but like I'm going to his podcast right now, and um, I'm not seeing very many sponsors. I well, don't think yeah, he gets many sponsors because he's a reactionary fucking. He's he's a giant piece of shit. I mean, I'm I'm just spot checking like random episodes right now, going through, and like none of these have sponsorship tags. And well, if he would have just stood by his principles, <laughs> maybe he would have sponsors. I mean, maybe they do on the audio side, but I'm on his YouTube page, and I am so far I have not come across a single sponsor this on any day. of these videos. No issues, despite all the controversies, the lies, the smears, the manipulation. And I will stand by what we believe in and what we say, and I'm not going to play these stupid games. All right, guys, you know what to do. That's all it takes is being like, I've never lost sponsors. It's like, all right, guys, get to work. Here, I just found one, and it is a... Do not message the sponsors. It's a keto powder. Oh, no, well, I, won't, I won't even say who the sponsor is because I don't want to give that powder. perception. Yeah, that's that's high. That's yeah, I mean, huge brand. That's no, a, that's not the name of the brand. But no, that's I'm, what I know. Selling. I'm joking. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. sells keto power powder. Of course, they're not dropping you. All right. The dumber, the better. That's their fucking. That's their whole shit. They're like the dumber your audience, the better for us. Let's not insult poor Zach over here. Keto powder. <laughs> Wouldn't use that shit. Okay, okay. I'm <laughs> just saying. Because I know he's an adamant keto guy. So. It just sounds like oh, keto powder. <laughs> I mix my keto powder with my alpha brain, my gorilla brain. What the fuck is keto powder? <laughs> it's probably a bulking formula that's that doesn't have any kind of. It's probably uh, whey protein, in it. to be honest. Like, yeah, I mean. But what's the difference between whey protein and oh keto powder? Nice find, AB. Thank you. I had to verify that before I sent it. Okay. I want to see. Here's another thing that he's sponsored by. Those fucking buckets of slop. Yeah! For the apocalypse. Yes! <laughs> he's sponsored by slop doomsday or slop buckets. <laughs> My sponsors have never dropped me. Of course they haven't. The dumber the better. What is that? <laughs> survival food. It's it's survival food. The apocalypse it's, starts. Yeah, it's for <laughs> the nuclear fallout. It's a bucket of slop. <laughs> the race war that's they think yeah when this right. race war has exactly. happened what are we gonna do here yeah, let's big. see tim pool kicked off his timcast irl podcast tonight with an ad read for survival food i believe this is the first time he's done an ad read on the podcast live he recently complained to me that he struggled to attract sponsors for it oh damn so this was Amen. beginning of last year and that was the first time he had had a sponsor <laughs> on the thing so yeah i mean yeah i I'm sure it is hard to get people to sponsor. Yo, check it out. Show. You see on the bottom, it says, please limit two per household. It's two. It's in such high demand. They can't even deliver more than two, you guys. <laughs> Jim Baker food bucket. There's just bucket, not enough man. slop to go around. Jim Baker food bucket. Right. It's the is same. that a Jim Baker food bucket? Well, it's the same it, shit. It's oh. the same kind of thing, yeah. I'll tell you right now, everything you're seeing right here is not what's in there. No, is it going to look like you've seen pigs feed out of a trough? That's what you're going to be <laughs> yeah, eating. Exactly. Jesus is your source. Ethan started playing the games, <laughs> getting oh, scared, Somebody said, panicking. please show the video of him eating the slop. Oh, I would love to. Yo, He's they made him eat the that. slop, and you're complaining about my sponsors? Tim Pool eating <laughs> Pull up slop. Tim Pool eating <laughs> slop. <laughs> and then let's talk about our sponsors. <laughs> Nobody made me eat slop. I guess I got that premium shit where I don't have I'm to sorry, eat I'm slop. I'm sorry, I'm going to about that. <laughs> That's I'll, awesome. I'll see if I can find it. <laughs> That's so awesome. He chose to get into business, business with these companies, and now he is sitting there saying, it sucks, I have no sponsor. Well, look, man, you got to stand up for yourself. 
You can't let these people push you around. So, God, he's standing up. Not to have people taken like down you. the Jordan. Ugh. You, <sighs> Peterson episode, because you look duplicitous. You look like you're lying, and you look desperate. And what? so I, I hope it works out. But hey, man, <laughs> he's such a dumb <laughs> fucking little bitch. He's just. What does that even mean? He's he's acting like I called him and was like. I know what to do, bro. I got so much pressure to remove these Jordan Peterson things, and they're coming after. They're gonna come after our sponsors. I can only say I don't know what he means that I look like a liar and duplicitous. Right. In bed right. with people who will who will uh, uh, push you off that uh, metaphorical. Uh, uh, clip. Yes, Tim. I am. F I am in favor of trans rights. I don't know what to tell you, bro. I'm <laughs> holding to my own principles. Tim Pool was actually trending because he tweeted something yesterday, like uh, trans women are never going to be biological females or something, which was just rage bait. Like he's just trying to piss off trans advocates. That's what he does. He's like, why can I only get slot buckets to sponsor me? <laughs> Anyway, guys, I'm Tim Pool, and here I am eating my slop bucket. Mmm. Did you find it, Dan? I have not found it. I'm, oh, I'm man. Looking. I'm looking. I want to see that so bad. If at any moment, well, then I can only say, like, you should have, you should have prepared for this. You should have expected it. <laughs> it's so easy to do a show when you can just make up any scenario you want and then, like, critique it. You know, he sounds so smart. You knew it was going to happen. If, imagine this. Imagine if Ethan Klein, instead of deleting the Jordan Peterson episode, came out and said, they're telling me if I don't delete this episode, they're going to pull my sponsors. But that's, pull them. So I will I not take down the conversation I had with Dr. Peterson. Yeah, imagine oh if that happened, God. except nobody that... Dude, you're such a <laughs> so liar. liar. He's a liar. <laughs> He's just a disgusting liar. And I've explained this on the show before, too, which makes it even worse. Slop bucket boy. I mean, I don't necessarily expect him to know that. Uh, but he's talking like it's fact. Right. That's the, the thing. The way he's it's presenting like, it. Yeah. You don't, I don't expect Tim Pool to watch every episode and hear the explanation, but also just don't make up your own explanation and then get mad about it. That's what yeah. he does. That's what his whole yeah. show is. Anyway, uh, speaking of Tim's sponsors, safeandreadymeals.com. This is a post from his Instagram. He's got a whole <laughs> closet full of slop guys. He's ready to go. Each one is 30 days. I don't think that's enough to get through the apocalypse. I'll be honest with you guys. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that's like a year or two, and then you're going down, buddy. Look at me like some kind of prepper. This is what our new work facility, though we work... Bro, are you able to read and write? Look at me like some kind of prepper. That's the first sentence. Look at me like some kind... Look at me. I think it's like, look at look me at like me. some kind of prepper. Okay. There's this a is for our new work facility, though, where we expect to have a lot of people, so it's not just for one person. Okay. Uh, AB just sent a link. Uh, His grammar is just weird. <laughs> <sighs> These are the meals I promote on my channel sometimes, and buying supports my work. Yeah. I'm sure you... Wait, what do you got there? It's the website of. Uh, oh, this looks legit, want, bro. You look at it. This look. This looks like one of those fucking pop-ups on like when you're on a porn site. <laughs> yes, it's a very nostalgic pop-up. It, it looks like. like a straight scam. How? Uh, powered by my Patriot Supply. Hell yeah, brother. Yo, this deal will end eleven hours. Hurry, oh! buy, 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 buy. Wait, oh! there's only three. I can only get two. The clock is ticking. <laughs> That's when the doomsday happens. The nukes are falling in 11 hours. You're telling me there's orange juice in that slop bucket? Probably. Well. Powder? I guess powdered. I was going to say, like, uh, what's it called? The frozen stuff? Concentrate? Or whatever? Yeah. But it, you don't no. freeze this, so. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of want to buy one of these and, do, and then open it up and see what's actually in there. We can you do that. It Although it's deal. $700. No! Oh, it's $750? Hey, no, but what the fuck? What? I mean, I guess it's theoretically food for Why is it like so expensive? Months, right? Isn't that the idea? Yeah, that's, but still, damn. But what's in there? It's just some beans and stuff? 750 
Apparently pudding and casserole and all kinds of things what? if you go by the picture. The days of the great, the great reset look to be here. We continue to see how fragile our nation's supply chains are and how quickly shortages are appearing out of nowhere. Imagine if that happened at your local grocery store again. Shelves can be picked clean in a matter of hours. We've all seen it happen repeatedly. <laughs> Americans can see that the world is on fire. They're ordering this emergency food like crazy, which means, and, and they're like, and our shelves are being wiped out, which means you too, while you can. Coward. <laughs> if you uh, open the link again in a different browser, the uh, deal clock happens to start over. No way. Oh. No way. No way. No, no, I no way. You, Ian. I doubt. No way. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is a that, manipulative liar. Refresh. Are they lying to me? Refresh is going to go back. No, it'll save it, but if you open oh. it in a different... Oh, and like if Dan opens there. it. Sure, yeah. Manipulative Wait, does that mean the Tim Pool sponsor is lying? No way. Lying con Wait. If you do no, control, saying, like a totally different F5 browser or a private thing. browser. So yeah, let me go incognito. There you go. Probably if you click control F5, it's going to refresh with. Let's go incognito. You didn't do that. You just opened a new yes, one. Yes, I did. You did not. Dan, can you open it? Here, I'll just open it. I got and, you. I said new incognito window. You didn't click that. You clicked the wrong button. All right, now it is. You agree? Oh, my it God. Did. They're lying. Oh, my God. Right. They're lying to me. Cool. <laughs> Sponsors. Wow, that is crazy. Guys, can you imagine us ever working with this shit? I, I like hell no. Doomsday prepper slot meals that are even questionable if you'll get it or not because this is obviously like a scam landing page. Yo, Tim's actually live right now. You're not gonna believe this uh, screenshot. Oh, he's this. got his Jordan Peterson uh, uh, Kawaii pillow. <laughs> oh, congratulations! You're the 999th visitor. Congratulations! You won a slot bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Wait, are those the tissues he uses to jerk off to his Jordan Peterson pillow? Oh, I cannot say for sure. Um, Looks like it. There no is. waifu, no, no, no <laughs> waifu, no laifu. <laughs> True? <laughs> Damn. Yo, guys, they have real testimonials here. Bro, Cam, where did you get this fucking image of Jordan <laughs> Peterson with the lobster around his neck? Guys, here's a here's a genuine review from Barb A in Texas. The food comes in six huge buckets. I definitely feel safer knowing that my family and I now have a f buffer of food in case of a shortage. Cool. So it's seven hundred for how many of those? One bucket, my friend. Just one. Or maybe I'm wrong. No, no, no. That's uh, it, they probably send you like ten. How many so you buckets we got? Do you store 10 of these? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is for preppers. These are for these people that think any Who's day now that, the world's like, going to end. Who's got that, like, in general, who has that much space? You, so you need space and you need $700? Yeah. <sighs> this is a website called My S S Patriot Supply. What even is this website? What else do they sell here? Well, it goes in your bomb shelter. That's where you Right, have you have to have a so shelter. So you also need a bomb shelter. 100 hour candle. <clears throat> I mean, it's survival gear. It's all stuff that like. But it's know. the the whole patriot angle makes me makes me. Because true patriot only true patriots understand that the United States is about to collapse. <laughs> only people that love their country think that it's on the verge of completely. I tell you what, that Joe Biden. <laughs> That's the why the great love reset it so much. is coming. What is the great reset? Oh, it's that's reset way too much to get block. into right now. So. You're muted. Sorry, when you call the number for this company, there's like some epic Patriot music that plays call in the it. background. <laughs> I want me a dang, I need a survival bucket because Joe Biden about to hit that reset button. Yee! And we, I got to watch out for them gators in Arizona. Dungar. Anyone here from Arizona? Ooh wee, Tim Pool sent me. <laughs> I know you never, you'll never drop Tim Pool. Tweet! Dr. Wolfstar says, Ethan, you're once again attacking YouTuber sponsors and teaching your audience it's all right to do uh, when YouTubers don't share your opinions. Then you cry when you lose your sponsors. How do you not understand? Well, thanks for the $10, uh, first of all. That's for, a generous donation, actually. So thank you very much. First of all, nobody tapped the sponsors, okay? But I do think, I'm just making a funny observation. This is We're fucking funny. This is what objectively do do? funny. I don't know what to say, he, Dr. Wolfstar. This, he, listen, this he is made a funny-ass company. Tim Pool made a claim specifically to me that none of my sponsors ever drop me because I'm true to myself. He lied about me. I said, okay, who are your sponsors? Because 
you know. Oh hell yeah! Oh, this is the the slot bucket. Oh, this is inspiring. Trust me, no matter what I do, no matter what I say or show, the slot bucket people will never drop Tim Pool. He's right. So, I the, the, these this are has nothing to do with anything. We're just making fun of this. Product. Yeah, I'm not. Like, I'm not. Uh, it's not that serious. By the way. I, I don't also, like. So if you're into it, go and buy it. You know, yeah. we're just making fun. Yeah, of it. go fucking buy the slot <laughs> bucket if you want the slot bucket and, and use code Tim Pool. Whatever I, the I fuck. Don't, I don't think. I don't think not he's serious. in any danger of losing uh, Patriot, whatever the survival uh, dot co. Or no, whatever. he's right. They will never leave him. Yeah. Yeah, they're gonna sponsor him more now. Yeah, we're talking about him. Exactly. Maybe there, there's probably some people watching right now. They're like, I need a fucking slot bucket. Yeah. <laughs> right. We might have got them some business. Use a, a code pool. Yeah. Or whatever the fuck his code is. Sloppy pool. Safe and ready meals.com. I'm really genuinely not. This is fucking funny. Am I crazy? This Use is funny. Use code stool. He called me out. I looked at his sponsors. This is funny. I don't want anyone to go write them emails. And like you rarely think they would care if you did. They would not, not have care. taken down the Jordan Pierce. At all. <laughs> By the way, in actuality, whose sponsors have I really gone after? I mean, the thing with Keemstar was, again, just a joke where I was like, hey, look, uh, G Fuel sponsors this guy who, like, bullies people into unaliving themselves. That's pretty crazy. Because it was on his fucking desk as he's telling uh, Etika, why don't you just jump off a bridge then? Right. I'm like, and I made a joke. This fucking unaliving is sponsored by G Fuel. That's funny. Yeah, it's funny. Thank you. It's funny. I don't fucking care, dude. And then who else? <laughs> James Charles, like okay, you or David Dobrik, like you guys really fucking like some people shouldn't have sponsors. Well, and we did. You never went after his sponsors. I don't think I did. Oh, so I don't know. I, don't know what the, I I I I um I completely reject that notion. I don't really go after people's sponsors. Maybe I've done it once or twice in the case of like James Charles or someone really heinous like that. But almost, I don't think I ever genuinely say. Go after people's sponsors. Don't go after anyone's sponsors. I don't fucking care. Yeah, only go after my sponsors, please. Thank you. <laughs> Which I I don't even need to tell you that. You guys you guys got all the initiative right on your own. Go getters, all of you. But you gotta admit that slop shit's funny. It's funny. It's, it's funny. an episode. <laughs> because you look duplicitous, you I, I I feel like this is a guy who got started doing edgy comedy on Reddit and YouTube. Yes. And things like that. And that... Bro, that was like 10 years ago. Like, can you fucking move on? How long ago was it that we even made edgy videos on h Repression? It's literally... I think it's almost been 10 years. And to, it's like these guys, they need to fucking He's move on. He's basically telling you who you are and what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah. Right? Like, what? Yeah, what I'm is, sorry. This, this America. Mind your own business, bruh. God damn <laughs> But even if you watch those old videos, I mean, yeah, maybe the way you phrased some things was not right or the language wasn't appropriate. But if you watch them, like, how many times, how much shit did you get for d defending those, um, those black guys and Joey Salad's video? Oh, a lot. It was like, crazy. Yeah, yeah, like, it's, it's crazy. If you watch any of those old videos, like, the People were unsubbing, calling me a fucking woke liberal moron. And mm -hmm. the only redeeming thing was that somebody actually leaked... The video of Joey faking it. And that then I was, was like, very satisfying. Oh, you guys, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that was one of my big wake up calls when I did, um, when I made that Joey Salad's right. fake Trump card thing that was super racist. I was like, this is so fake. You, everybody knows this is fake. And, and, and then so I'll, many people did it. Yeah, the comments were yeah. like, you know, this is real, Ethan. Like, this is totally real. And I was like, Holy shit! Who are <laughs> these yeah. fucking racist freaks? We were watching my video. By that, I yeah, remember. and we're so much out. that it became a meme. You know this one's real. Yeah, you know this one's real, Ethan. <laughs> that was one of the comments, so it became a meme. <laughs> but it's like Tim, you know, back in third, you know, back in uh, when you were three, you used to shit in the fucking floor. So uh, what kind of hypocrite are you using a toilet? <laughs> right. You know. And as times oh, went right. on, he thought. I just better say what they're saying. The problem is, well, God, he's like, he knows me better than myself. He knows everything about me. Yeah. Once again, this is not mainstream America. He is bending the knee to weirdos. Jordan Peterson is popular yeah. among regular people. Yeah, he's also mm -hmm. a fucking weirdo. This works conversion therapy. His wife or his daughter dates a known human trafficker. He just went to jail. He was just arrested. And he's a... Uh, 
He's a fucking weirdo. And also he's like cringe. Him. He's cringe. Yeah, he's cringe. I mean, the worst crime of all of those things is that he's absolutely cringe. Posting cringe is, is he's posting is cringe. The word. Yeah. What are we gonna do about men? <laughs> what are we gonna do about men? <laughs> They're eating out of slop buckets. Oh boy. <laughs> They're buying slop buckets at Tim the slop bucket dot com for seven hundred and fifty dollars. That per- clip is one of my favorite of all times. <laughs> the what are we gonna do without men? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What are we gonna do without Tim Pool? <laughs> the top head, the top part of his head is missing. He loses brain cells every time he takes his beanie off. <laughs> we can't let the air reach his brain. The man lives on slop buckets for Christ's sake. We need <laughs> to get him real food. We need to get this man a waifu. He's got a sword and a gun behind him. How insecure can you be, man? I love that overlay. <laughs> oh man, I'm crying. You know, Tim Pool's head is like Geppetto and Pinocchio, don't you know? And uh, when, you know, it's a real boy and Tim Pool wishes he had the, a real top part of his head. Have you ever felt a light breeze on your brain? Tim Pool does. It's not good for you. His brain is out there doing amazing things. <laughs> Tim Pool's brain is out there doing amazing things. He's actually built calluses on his brain. The people who don't like him are the fringe weirdos. Regular people do like him. Regular people don't know I, who I the fuck like Jordan is Peterson is. St- are you kidding me? Like... Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm sorry I'd know who he is. <laughs> well, un- unfortunately... <laughs> I didn't. The- Honestly, me too. Yeah. Unfortunately, I think Tim uh, doesn't realize that the people that watch his show are the fringe weirdos, so... Right, yeah. Well... It's ca- I think you got lost in the sauce there a little, a little bit, bit there. Started mm-hmm. doing edgy comedy on Reddit and YouTube. Anyway, I love that shit. <laughs> Not have taken down... Yeah, the- no, uh, Tim Pool says he isn't into... Uh, I just make up shit about him. Yeah, so Tim Pool, he says he's not into, like, having sex with underage kids, but, like, um, I don't, I don't even know how to spin that. <laughs> so, let's go back in time. We need to, to get him a brain transplant, though, and pop, and clean up the and top of his... brain sponsors? Yeah. Up there? Welcome to Head, head Cap. For people missing half their dome, we screw it on like a plunger. <laughs> and you can take off your beanie and feel the air. That's that. <sighs> Thank you, Tim Pool. And shout out to the slop buckets. Slop buckets. Ace Family claims this is so good. Now, Eli, I don't know if you saw, we were, did a whole poll and we were trying to guess what was going to happen with the Ace family, Ace Fest? No, I didn't see that. Because they, so what happened with Ace Fest is that they said it was sold out after a day. Mm-hmm. And somebody figured out this really intelligent way to figure out how many tickets they actually sold. Mm. It wasn't a lot at all. Okay. And so we were like. It's like a roughly 500, right? 500 to 600 tickets? 600. Yeah, somewhere they in that range. They sold 600 tickets. Yeah. Yeah. Each ticket is for, f- like... Five people? Or four two? or five people, yeah. though. But they said, oh, we sold it out. We're like, so either they're going to steal people's money, they're going to cancel the event, or they're going to open it up and try to, like, build hype and be like, it was sold out, but we're going to open more seats. That, to me, that explanation didn't make a lot of sense to me, because who would want to go to, like, an overcrowded... Right. But that's not what they said. Well, here, here, we got our answer. It was basically just yesterday. They put out a video, and they answered our question. And with a link. It looks like it's back open, guys. <laughs> Let's see. This is super exciting that it's back open. Oh, no, it's sold out again? Oh, it's still sold out? Oh, no. <laughs> it's sold out again? Shit. Scammed. Okay, here it is. 
Friday. If you are new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the family. So before we get into today's video, we just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all of your love and support. We are so excited to do Ace Fest this year. Like this is going to be I'm an so amazing time. Fest. So going into this, Kath and <laughs> Wait, I. You know we bought tickets, right? Yeah. We got a five packer. <laughs> Yep. I can't wait to see what happens there. And it's in Palmdale, which is like desolate fucking, and it's in the middle of summer. It's like desolate <laughs> it's gonna be desert hell there. Right. <laughs> we really didn't have an idea on how well we were going to do. We didn't know how many people would want to come to the Ace Fest. So we kept it at like a smaller scale than trying to go too big. If that makes sense, like we wanted to keep it smaller scale and then hopefully grow it because it's our first time doing this. So when tickets went on sale and we sold out, we were sitting there like- <laughs> they, They're lying. They sold 500 tickets. Damn, uh, maybe we should have went bigger. Maybe it's, you know, the right amount of people. Um, I mean, I'm really happy with the amount of people that are going. Yeah. And I think it'll be amazing. It'll be Wait, Cameron found something interesting. This is on their website still. Only 5,000 tickets available. Get one before it's too late. So it says that despite Damned. being quote unquote sold out. Yeah, that doesn't. So did they close it already? It's just so weird. Okay, let me watch the video. It'll be so much fun and like the video would look amazing. But then again, it's like the venue has the capability of holding a lot more people. So with that being said, we were looking at your guys' feedback and we noticed a lot of you were unable to get a ticket because of how fast it sold out. Knowing Catherine and I, and we told you guys this numerous of times, it's very hard to please everyone, but since- Super hard to please everyone. Yes. Like we try to please everyone, it's just like- But yeah. since we do have the capability of expanding it, we're trying our best to do that for you guys. Mm -hmm. So the people that were unable to get a ticket, hopefully, fingers crossed, we literally, just talked to them not too long ago and we're actually going to go down and show you guys a little bit of the venue today and talk to them again for you guys and see if it's possible to make this happen because we really want to try to get everyone that's a part of the ace family who wants to come to be able to come all right guys so comment down below in the comment section let us know if you guys are still interested in going to ace fast so if you still do not have it looks like it's not list. open yet maybe they didn't open it yet but let's see i they stickied this i still don't have tickets and i want to come Sticky that shit. Something is so weird with them. I don't you know, there's always something fishy going on. Uh, the only comment I see about the one they stickied is, Loki feel bad for any Ace Family fan who actually bought tickets to their fest. It's giving fire festival. <laughs> yeah. I don't see anyone being like, yo, I need those tickets. What is the event supposed to be? Like, what's supposed to be happening? So it's a one day. And it's supposed to be like a carnival where they have rides mm. and presents and uh, live performances. It's just the, the financials don't make any. I just can't wait, dude. I know it's going to be such a shit show. I just can't wait. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, my God. Somebody just donated 10 bucks. Said, Please send some love to the people in Palmdale like me. The Antelope Valley loves you. Shout out, Palmdale. Shout out, Palmdale. Shout out, Palmdale. Sorry, Palmdale. Palmdale. Shout Last out. time we talked about Palmdale's it. Palmdale's beautiful. It's lush. <laughs> it's a lush, I beautiful call it paradise. Lush. No, it is. It can be beautiful. There's it, there's beauty in, in the desolation of the desert, you know? Yeah, there's beauty in death. The Sahara can be, <laughs> Sahara it's, can be it's beautiful. It's entropy and it's, uh, and it's life. Right, yeah. You know, there's there's beauty in uh, supernovas. There's and beauty in death. There's, there, there's, beautiful, <laughs> be, there's, be, there's, there's beauty in <laughs> meteors hitting the earth and destroying life. I mean, yeah, you can find beauty in stuff. <laughs> Absolutely. From death to life. <laughs> yeah, everything's beautiful. I'm so excited. This is the. I think I'm most excited about Ace Fest this year because <laughs> we got. Wait. I just can't wait to see what a shit show this is. Yeah, so we also noticed that a lot of you guys would want to come to the Ace Fest by yourselves, and you wouldn't be able to come with a group of people. It's a family event. Who's going there by themselves to fucking bring home a kid that ain't theirs? Nobody said that. So the two ticket options is hard for you to commit to. So we're going to try our best. Dude, it's a fam. Who would go to that by themselves? Genuinely. That's demented. That's sick. <laughs> if you're going to Ace Fest alone? Yeah. That is depressing. <laughs> that, is, that is sad. 
It's made for kids and their families. Not saying that. Oh. We're going to. I feel bad to now. To sell individual <laughs> some, tickets. To somebody out there that actually would do that. Want to come by themselves? Just know that individual tickets may not have the same benefits as the other tickets. We're trying to make it as fair as possible, guys. Mm -hmm. We want to make Stay it as us. fair as possible. We want everyone to be happy. Like we're trying really hard to make everyone happy. Yeah. Um, when we realized that so many people were saying, like, "Hey, like, I just have one person to go with," or "I, ha I don't have anyone to go with. Like, I want to go." Yeah. We realized, okay, like there is still a say good. Stay at home. This is not for you. <laughs> Leave your lonely ass at home. Don't be around kids. You know? This... The two of them are so weird to me. Oh, yeah. I never understand what's their deal. They're scammers. <laughs> and then they're getting away with it. Every damn fucking year they do... Or every six months. This boxing fiasco just happened, and now they're selling its tickets mm -hmm. to their next scam, and people are buying it. <laughs> the VIP pass for this event allows you access to all 2022... Ace Family events, including a boxing match that he has not announced the opponent for. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's going to pan out. Yeah, I'm sure that's coming right up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Who would ever take him up on that after what just happened? Yeah, that's like what's in what so universe. Yeah, guys. Why do they think they can put a festival together? In three months. I just don't understand that. <laughs> in three fucking months. And then they're already like, we want everybody to be happy, but it's really difficult, but... Why do you even do this? Why are you thinking that you can put together a festival? We got lots of inquiries from the uh, from the uh, s hospital for sexual deviants who want to come with one person. So we're opening up to them and running a special promotion. Is there a hospital just for like p words? Got to be right. What is that question? Um, what? What? <laughs> well, because I was like, they'll run a special promotion for them for one ticket. It's one of those questions where I start to type to fact check, and then I'm like, <laughs> "Why fact check it? There's got to be." What is it? The, the Ace family's running a special promotion. You're saying there has to be a hospital specifically for p words. Yeah. What? Why do you think no, that like there a, has to be? There's a because it's like a prison <laughs> slash rehabilitation center for like okay, essay so, slash p words. Well, perhaps like okay, an institution. Yeah, I feel like there's got to be that. <laughs> And I'm just, I'm saying that Maybe if just the Ace family is trying right to sell tickets, what you're looking that's for a, is they're trying to sell single rider tickets, that's a good place to start. Okay. <laughs> that's some bullshit. He has a, he'll build a special room for, with, for them with one-way glass. It'll be nice. This place is called Predator's Paradise. Somebody said it's called Sorry. prison. Wait, hold on. Predator's the thing Paradise? That you're, the thing that <laughs> you're asking prison. for is called prison. Oh, you know what else is called Predator, Predator's Paradise? Ace Fest. Why is it called Predator's Paradise? No, it's, it's just the <laughs> title of this article I'm reading it now. It's about a mental hospital. Uh, wow, I'll, sister I'll back snapped. Uh, Love said that kind of rehab usually happens in prison. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's right. what Google said. Pred Predator's Paradise, a.k.a. Ace Fest. <laughs> Andrew Hart... Uh, here. Oh, sorry. Wait, what happened? 800 child M... Uh, uh, a child R words housed at a state capital in the Central Valley. They were deemed too dangerous to release when the prison sentence ended. Oh, yeah. So they keep them um, indefinitely when the prison sentence ends. But they deserve to have a nice fun day by themselves at Ace Fest. So that's what I'm saying. That's 800 <laughs> tickets you could sell. That's a that's a huge opportunity. <laughs> That'd be awesome. The whole fucking, <laughs> the whole, the, they all go on a day trip together to Ace Fest. <laughs> Terrible. That's awful. Oh my God. They have chaperones and shit. They're, They're all in like white with hand, chained feet. <laughs> They're and operating hands. the ride. Just cruising through Ace Fest. That's awesome, dude. It's a fun time, dude. Wholesome <laughs> family event. They're trying to make more single tickets more accessible. Does that make sense for science? <laughs> I think that's How good. How did we get to this? I think that's good of them to make single tickets more accessible. <laughs> you know. A lot of people that are willing to just do that. And since we can't sell too many more tickets, we'll be able to keep track of individual tickets much easier than selling group tickets because that's 
a little more complicated. One last thing for the people who bought tickets to answer some <laughs> of your questions. Just know, when you guys come to Ace Fest, mm -hmm. your parking is free, your games are free, your rides are free, and there is unlimited. You can play as many games as you want for as long as you want. God, I, I can't wait to see what these games are. It's I just going to be know. cornhole or some shit. Probably. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, probably exactly that. You can ride as many rides as you want for as long as you roll. You can ride the same ride a hundred times if you can. <laughs> but I just wanted to be clear. Some of you guys are asking, do you have to pay for this, pay for that? No. You guys already bought the ticket. You just come to the Ace Fest and enjoy yourselves and have fun and hang out with the Ace family. So stay tuned for the tickets opening back up and the individual tickets coming because we are going to speak to the event coordinators and try to figure this out because we really want everyone to go. Yeah. Oh, are they showing it? No. That looks like... This is, no, this is just their vlog. It's just... No, no, no. I think this is the... Just I think this is where they're doing the event. Parking lot. Like... Okay, so this is... <laughs> Wait, is that the... Wait, that's the parking lot? Oh, this is where they're doing the event, Dan. This is where they have, like, the mm -hmm. biggest event in Palmdale every year. They hold, I want to say, like, 50 to, like, 100,000 people. And so originally, Catherine and I... Were... What the economics of this does not... Makes any sense. It's in a Home Depot parking lot. <laughs> well, well, that would make sense. We're thinking of like only having it in a certain amount of section because we didn't obviously know how well we were going to do, how many Ace Family members were going to come out. So we only got like a portion of what we needed. And after the tickets went on sale, we're and, like, uh, no. Yeah. So we need more space. Yeah. So then we talked to um, our partners in this and we asked them basically. I can't wait. They probably so haven't even can't. booked it. They just went to a parking lot somewhere. And they're like, oh, yeah, I that's where we're going to have it. I just I can't <laughs> wait to see what happens. I'm so excited. In fact, we're probably selling more tickets to Ace Fest than they are. How many people are probably like, damn, I got to see this shit in my, by myself. You know, all the P words are coming. All the foot soldiers are coming. It's going to be a hell of a crowd, bro. There's not going to be any kids. I can't wait. Super exciting. But let's buy some merch. Um, let's see what kind of merch they have. Wristband. Cloth blue cursive. What is that? Wait, six dollars for a t-shirt? What the hell? <laughs> Either what the fuck? Six twenty-five for a t-shirt? Discounted from twenty-five bucks. They're not making any money, on it. dude. I don't know what is that. But the, what is with the bracelet? I'm confused by that. Does it even say Ace Family on it? Or is it just yeah, some, like, does. stuff they got from... It says the Ace Family. Oh, okay. Shit. This is interesting. This is Idiot. interesting. Idiot! I'm going to keep looking at this. Uh, lane, a lanyard? What is a lanyard? That's, like, where you wear a... A badge? No, hold yeah. your keys. I mean, yeah, he's for a badge. anything well. like that. Who but needs yeah, that? Who's to... buying that? Children. That has keys. Yeah, kids. Uh, okay. I guess. Okay. I don't know. Evidently, no one, based off of the discounts they're Yo, offering. This is the <laughs> weirdest collection of merch I've ever seen. What the f? Lanyards, bracelets, and six dollar t-shirts. The Ace Family. Check out that. Wait, is, did it, did I see that that was a poncho? Got kind of Ace Family poncho? Oh, for real? Fire. Right, <laughs> poncho style. Last item. Last the item bottom. on the list. That's. A, I thought it was a bag. I thought it was a tote bag. Poncho style pink. That's a fucking poncho. I thought it was a tote bag, dude. Oh, what? Poncho style. Ace yeah, Fam. I mean, towel. Poncho style. Oh, okay. it's a towel. Got like, it. Wait, can you wear it though? I like, guess. Yeah, for kids. Yeah, yeah, like a towel with a hood in the pocket. No, it says adult size. Oh. I've seen those. That's very strange. All sales are final. No exchange or refunds. My man. <laughs> uh, my man. Always on his shit. Do you not have to offer refunds? No. In America? No, you don't. Pretty sweet, huh? <laughs> yeah. Seems nice. I don't think so, anyway. I'm pretty sure you I, don't. I, there's there's lots of webs. There's, there's a lot of brands that don't. Yeah, they do I final sale. Surprising, like... That's crazy. Teddy Fresh does. We have an excellent service. We got refunds. You can write an email and be like, yo, Ethan's a piece of shit. I don't like him. I'll be like, cool, no problem. Refunded, no questions asked. 
Oh, I love Ace Family. They're just such fucking scum. I love it. Fucking love it. <laughs> so now that we've gotten a little bit through this episode, can we get to a better title, please? Because I don't like the title. What would you like to call it? <laughs> Tim Pool of shit for brains. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, don't. Don't even pretend. <laughs> the thing is, shit for brains is a funny insult, but with him, with the top half of his head being open, he actually could have, someone could shit in his head, and he mm. would have shit for brains. That would be pretty insensitive then, so I guess we should. Off topic. That. Yeah. Zach, you are chewing so loud. Is that what that noise oh. Yes, I thought it was a leak. <laughs> Wait, are you chewing into the mic, Zach? No, he's it's muted. It's closed? Okay. What are you chewing? Gum. Okay. <laughs> nope, it doesn't oh. bother me. <laughs> Sounds like a camel's behind me. <laughs> <laughs> you start talking to my mic, AB. <clears throat> oh my god, wait, Ooh, here's one of the single it. writers. Uh, uh, this is, we just got some intel. James is, is going that? by himself. Nice. To, uh, oh. uh, Ace Fest. <laughs> He's dripped out. That was well, actually the comment. <laughs> that was the person who left the comment. Was like, yo, can I buy a ticket for myself? It was James Charles. And in the role of a lifetime. In the role <laughs> of a lifetime. Seeing a lot of calls for Beans on Toast title. Uh, you guys want that Beans on Toast? Are you trying to fucking make Be my... Beans on Toast and uh, a post-apocalyptic slop special. Oh <laughs> 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 Alright, so you guys don't want people to watch my video, you right. thing. You, you, you're trying to destroy my career, in other words. Well, we just... Uh, let's just let's click... do the app Ethan, and... Ethan has a heart attack live on air. Right. That'll get clicked. Ethan's anus prolapse is live. Yeah, live on air. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we finish the app and then we can decide. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and then everyone can vote. We can do that. So Kim Kardashian threatens to destroy Roblox. Yeah. Johnny Depp versus Big Amber news. Heard. Oh, let's oh do we have the story prompt too. That was fun. Maybe we should do that, eh? Let's do the Kim thing because uh, we we have a little edit for that even. So. So Kim Kardashian. I don't even know if I can show this clip because it's from the. Keep up with Kardashians, and you know they don't fucking let anything go. Mm. Get your fucking. What her up son? It was a clip from Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Her okay. son. How old's her son? Like seven, eight, something. Uh, six. Younger. Yeah, younger. Six. So he was yeah, playing right Keeping Up with. Uh, he was playing Roblox. And I guess in Roblox there was some clip of her. Sex tape. It was just. Really? Like, I don't in think it game? was even a clip of it, but it was a reference to it. Uh, it was like an ad. It was, it was an, an ad, ad in the game. Like that a was funny like... ad. Well, Roblox is like Minecraft, I think, in that it's all player-driven content, mm -hmm. right? So, so it, somebody else made it with, yeah. in the game? Yeah. Gotcha. The developers have nothing to do with that. It's like Ryan Kavanaugh going to our Reddit page and being like, yeah. <laughs> he is doing everything. You know, it's kind of an open platform. So she's threatening to sue uh, Roblox after the game claiming to offer an unreleased sex tape Ooh. of hers, and her son found it. Let's see. Kim Kardashian threatened to sue Roblox. Uh, Roblox, a gaming play, yada, yada, yada. I have all the time, all the money, and all the resources to burn them to the fucking ground. I don't think even her, she's a... I don't think she can touch Roblox. That's like a juggernaut. <laughs> Roblox is definitely a juggernaut. Like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but you need to check yourself because you're up that against. That doesn't sound like something you can sue over. No. See. Isn't she studying the law? <laughs> in That's 20, a good question. In 2021, <laughs> uh, in the year 2021, the the game Roblox revenue was just shy of two billion dollars. Wow. So there you go. There's the ego. Um, lady, you actually are not, you have nothing on Roblox. They will destroy you. <laughs> okay. Like the market cap is 21 billion. 21 billion market cap on the company. Holy shit. Yeah, no, they're, actually, they're a juggernaut. I've never played Roblox. Have any of you guys? Uh, <laughs> I watched quite a bit of it yesterday because there was doing, uh, we did some investigative journalism on this whole <laughs> controversy. My one of my nieces is very sweet. Cool. She won't talk to me unless I play Roblox with her. So that's <laughs> the only way she'll... It yeah. seems fun. I mean, it's kind of like a Minecrafty type of thing, right? Yeah, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Uh, yes, it's similar to Minecraft in that it it's very customizable, uh, and you can sort of 
people make games within games. Like when Cam was playing with it the other day, he was just playing like Fortnite. Somebody just like recreated Fortnite in Roblox. Yeah, so I feel like it's a lot like Minecraft, which it's really just about the ingenuity of the users that make it fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The characters look like Lego men, and it has kind of like a Lego aesthetic. Uh, Roblox has since banned the developer of the game and denied its platform ever featured the S tape. Yeah, well, I mean, while I agree it, her, it's messed up, her son saw that, but, mm -hmm. like, didn't she, I mean, she's kind of, I mean, it's obviously inevitable, no? I mean, be. when you become Not famous actually, for doing that, everything's on the internet. That's kind of the price you pay, no? Yeah. No, it, it was inevitable. I just, uh, it sucks that it happened so young, you know. Well, of course it was going well, I, to. I think the kid didn't actually understand uh, what they were uh, looking at. She was just upset Thank that you. they could have potentially come across it. But, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I, I, Listen. I do kind of feel bad, you know. It's part I, of those the... Those kids are going to find out. At some and point. they're going to find out young because, yeah. you know, that's just because the way the world is. our life now. Yeah. I made a quick Google. And apparently you can set up like parental control on Roblox too. So oh. she yeah, could have done was, that if she really wanted to. I, th I think that they're saying that uh, some people have found ways around the uh, filters. And I think that's why she's saying that Roblox would get in trouble from what I'm reading. I just love that quote. I mean, she's so delusional. I have all the time, all the money, and all the resources to burn them to the ground. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. Look, it. she put it out knowingly, right? The S-tape? That was like a whole planned thing. I don't know I, anything I think that was just a rumor. I don't think it was... Oh, really? Didn't the mom have something to do with it? That was she, also they another rumor. profited was... big time from that. Wait, I thought that was like their whole thing that they put it out, her and Ray J. Ray, I think Ray J put it out, and then Kim got a piece of it. So they're, they're, she did agree to put it out, I believe. Hmm. Okay, well, regardless. Um, so, you guys want to do your thing? Uh, it was far from the game's first controversy. Roblox was sued for $200 million last year over unauthorized song use. You, what do you guys got? You want to play it? Oh, there's a, there's a video. Uh, oh, it's in the dock. Yeah, yeah. Cameron's correspondence here. All right, so we are in the game, uh, yeah. reporting live. We are going all places, virtual or 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 uh, unvirtual, concrete. But here we are. Those who make peaceful revolution impossible will make violent revolution inevitable. John F. Kennedy. There is a revolutionary fire that lights the hearts of Roblox everywhere. Users are gathering in mass to protest <laughs> Kim Kardashian's recent litigious threats against the popular video game. In no relation to GameStop marketing campaigns, the chant, Power to the Player, is being spammed in chat rooms everywhere across multiple game levels. This developer even created a Kim Kardashian monster to search and destroy protesters. Block's blood paints the pixelated streets and tensions continue to rise. <laughs> I visited a more subtle level where Jesus Christ himself showed up in support of the game. <laughs> Finally, I paid a visit to the Kardashian family themselves, but it seems like this level was in need of updates. Oh, Drastically no. in need of updates. Well outdated. <laughs> it is Friday, baby! Ultimately, they could not be reached for comment, so it was time to call it a day. <laughs> Yo, those game versions look sick. <laughs> so are those, are those, good job, Cam, virtual reporting. So are those real places in the game, the Kim shit? Yeah, I mean, right now, if any foot soldiers are out there that have Roblox, I'm currently in the Kardashian mansion level. But yeah, there's, there's a few protests going on uh, when good. you type in Kim Kardashian on the search. Yeah, they should stand up for the rights. That's their game. Roblox is their home. A lot of chat is saying that Kim uh, did not give consent for that tape to come out. Um, uh, oh, okay. I'm not well, sure the real story, but that's what chat is saying right now. So. Okay, well then, then, then I do feel ba worse. Then I do feel bad for her in that case. But I'm curious: did she ever s try to stop the circulation? Did she actually yes. get money? She sued to prevent it from being released. 
So how can you guys talk about how they're like these mastermind marketers and then say that was unintentional? I, I mean, there's no denying they're master marketers. I mean, we weren't specifically referring to the sex tape. But like, you said, no, I know, but you go, oh, she didn't cons consent. But then when I say she says something dumb and everyone calls me a fucking psycho for thinking well, that a, it wasn't planned. It's a statement versus sex tape. I mean, that's her it's son saying that now. I mean, the consequences, I feel like, are a lot more intense. Sure, for, for her son. But don't you, okay, whatever. I don't, I don't need to get... All these fucking weirdo Kim Kardashian people. Don't abuse me again, Ethan. I'm not. I'm not asking. I got nothing to do with you, AB. I got nothing to do with you. Uh, this Kim? is just. This just in. Uh, I'm in Roblox right now, and the word Kardashian is censored. You can't even say oh, Kardashian. Wow. You can't even say Kardashian wow. anymore. Really? Wow. What? That's a bad word, but surely that's just going to make people want to type it out. Well, that's the thing. This whole thing, it, this whole thing is a, uh, what's it, the Streisand effect? Mm -hmm. uh, we're witnessing it in real time um, yeah. because, yeah, she, they put it in their show, which got everybody talking about it, and now it's a meme, and Roblox is just overrun with Kim Kardashian stuff, um, which is just going to exacerbate the whole thing. Yeah, I mean... I understand her being upset about it, but, um, you know, if they didn't want uh, this kind of attention on the thing, which is going to inevitably wind up with her kids finding out about it, uh, probably shouldn't have put it in the show. Uh, that was probably a bad call, because now it's, now it's a meme, and now you've got fucking... What we just saw. We <laughs> got Roblox whole rooms forever. of Roblox dedicated <laughs> to... Roblox v. Kardashians yeah, to be the exactly. war, of, war of the century. Yeah. Okay, well, you know what? Sucks, but at the end of the day, I just can't find it in my heart to care that much about whatever the fuck you're dealing with. Sorry. Is that too callous? The quote is just saying. fucking about Ray J and his manager, holy shit. Um, I mean, there's a bunch of articles about this attributing that quote to her threatening Roblox, so... Oh, um, people are saying write a, that... Write wait, a letter to uh, the publication. Wait, is she saying that quote is not real? Just somebody in the chat is saying that, but I... My God, people care so much about her. It's like I can't even say shit without people... <sighs> I know. ...losing my mind. And she is... I fucking hate her, so... <laughs> it's like, not that, that I think that stuff like this should happen to her, but like, just, I hate the fucking Kardashians, so... I just think they're the most vapid Google. people in the world, so... It's hard to... Uh, it's hard to give a shit. I don't care. Yeah. What am I supposed to care? There's people dying every day. I'm supposed to care about Kim Kardashian. <laughs> I'm supposed to care about her feelings. There's fucking, do you know what I'm saying? Like, I only have so much bandwidth to have for sympathy. Sorry. Kim Kardashian is not on my fucking list. Just saying. Just, Just saying. saying. You know. Just saying. Just saying. Uh, well, okay. Um, you guys want to do the discussion prompt? Yeah. We've been putting this off for a long ass time. Basically, we have a discussion prompt. Okay, let's do a poll. Should I care about Kim Kardashian's <laughs> feelings? Yes or no? <laughs> should I should I set aside bandwidth and my limited <laughs> spectrum of sympathy? AB says yes. Yes to caring about Kim. Yeah, AB is a very soft spot in his heart for the Kardashians. I didn't say anything. He empathizes, and that's good. No, he has a big heart. I'm a, yeah. I think the reason people get worked up is they're superimposing themselves. Like, what if I had to deal with this with my kid, and that's why they get worked up. I can't hear What's you. That? You're, you're mic coming in quiet. Uh, I was saying that I think people are passionate not because of Kim as a figure or a character, but just they're superimposing themselves onto that situation like what what would i go through if that happened to me yeah you know in an ex of mine so i think that's why people are sure and i have involved okay i Freud. have sympathy for that you know aspect of it like yeah obviously you don't want your kids seeing your sex tape it's horrible well i was actually under the impression that she was 
put it out. But I don't think so they that saw changes it. The, That's what I, I think thought it too. just yeah. From what I just briefly read, it showed her crying face, and when you clicked on it, it said something like, "Watch her new sex." Yeah, tape. he didn't actually yeah, it was see like it. An, it was like an exactly. And it's like yeah, it was just a joke. The fact that she had a sex tape is just something that her kids will eventually find out, and I guess this was how this kid found out. You know, yeah. they're fam they're famous, and it's just gonna happen. It's unfortunate, but that's the reality. Like with the internet, it's just they're gonna find out. Wait till they find out she's the one that killed Harambe. <laughs> wow. That was a throwback. That's really going to disturb them. Uh, what was the poll? Should I care about the Kardashians? Should I have the bandwidth in my delicate spectrum of sympathy? Okay, that might be too many characters. <laughs> but, but, but in truth, yeah, I worded. thought she put out the sex tape, so it does make me feel wor a little bit worse for her, but at the end of the day, why doesn't, Ke why doesn't Kendall just give her a fucking Pepsi and tell her to change? Oh, true. That's you know, not really... Her that's sister's the Pepsi point. girl. Just fucking deal with your shit. Whatever, cancel the poll. Yeah, let's just move on. <laughs> All right, our discussion prompt for the day is infamous stories your family always tell. You know, within every family, there's specific lore, things that went down within your family that everyone always talks about. I have one. Mm -hmm. I'll tell it. So within my family... There's a certain phrase after my brother Sean, when someone brutally spoils a movie, and it's called Seaning a movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and my brother was notorious for this. He he, I he just would unintentionally just spoil the ending of movies, and this happened so many times. <laughs> the best example when this uh, phrase was born. Now you guys remember the hype around the six cent? I can't remember if it's. Fi I always remember six, six cents. cents. Mm -hmm. There's really <laughs> five other senses: <laughs> <laughs> smell, taste, vision, hearing, feeling. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that seems like a lot. Hey, be fact check that. <laughs> six I, cents. I know. <laughs> That's just a lot to handle. Five senses. What? what do you mean a lot to handle? It's a lot of senses. Five of them? Oh, that's a that's an all timer right there, Ethan. There's really five other senses. It just seems like a lot. I thought you were saying it's not enough. I'm not enough for Christ's sake. The sixth one is seeing dead people. How much more senses do you need? I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> Sensory overload. So anyway, the sixth sense was out and it was like super hype. That movie was a cultural phenomenon. Yeah. And it was a great movie, by the way. I love that movie. Mm -hmm. And it has this incredible twist ending. You're going to forgive me for spoiling it for you now. It's been about 20 years, so... I think the ship has sailed, but if you don't want to be spoiled <laughs> yeah. on the sixth sense, I guess... If you don't uh, want to be spoiled on the sixth for sense, a few minutes. close your eyes. Uh, but, like, it had, in my opinion, one of the best twist endings mm -hmm. ever. It was like, oh, shit, mind-blowing. Mind and if blown. you find out the ending, it basically ruins the whole movie because the whole movie is informed by your suspense of not knowing what's going on and if you mm -hmm. get the ending spoiled it ruins the whole fucking movie um so i go out to see this movie with my brother who's t he's two and a half years older than me and he had already seen it and he loved it and so we went to go see it together and there's this one scene where It was so stupid. Uh, Bruce Willis and the kid were on a swing, and my brother leans over to me, who's already seen the movie. This is halfway through the movie, and he goes, Hey, you notice how um, Bruce Willis doesn't have a shadow? <laughs> now, what was so stupid about it is because I immediately understood he, that he had spoiled the movie. I said, Oh, he's dead. My brother just spoiled it. <laughs> but what was so stupid is that he did have a shadow. There was a shadow there. <laughs> it wasn't even a good observation. 
<laughs> so he spoiled it for me halfway through the movie. <laughs> with that dumb comment. I'm like, why? why but that's not that? where the story ends. Okay, right. So when we're home, we go home, and my dad's in the kitchen. And I'm like, he was like, how's the movie? Whatever. I was like, it's Sean ruined the fucking movie for me. <laughs> Midway through, he turns to me and tells me literally the ending. And, Sean, and then my brother goes in front of my dad, who's really excited to see this movie too. He goes, I never told you he was dead. Oh. Nice. And then my dad's like, you just spoiled the <laughs> fucking movie for me. Oh man. And that's where the phrase, shawning the movie was born. He spoiled it for both of us, separately. Mm -hmm. Incredible. Incredible skill <laughs> of spoiling the movie. So there you go. If it happens in your life, you can always say, Shawned the movie. That's pretty cool. <laughs> and apologies to all other Shawns that have to bear that cross, but there you have it. All right, who wants to go next? Anybody? I guess I can go. Go ahead, Dan. Yeah, so an infamous one in our family is um, actually, it's funny we're doing this today because just on Wednesday's episode, when you were grilling me uh, like a cop with that stash, mm -hmm. uh, we talked about um, how my happened. parents worked in animation and everything. I mentioned that they worked on the Muppet Babies. Mm -hmm. So when I was just a little baby, I think I was only like three months old, um, my dad got some gig that required him to fly out to Hawaii for a couple weeks. Um, and so my mom, dad, and, and little three-month-old Danny went out to uh, Maui for a few weeks. And while he was there... They had already w been working for uh, Marvel Animation for a little bit, but they had just recently started working as writers on the show. And it was like a big break for them. It was a big deal for them at the time. And a new season was happening, and last minute, the, all the suits decided that they needed to be there for this meeting. The only problem is the meeting was in Toronto. So my dad hops on a plane, and flies out to Toronto uh, with the family, like, you know, that, that night. Well, so he was in Maui. It happened to be wintertime in Toronto. Uh, so it's like below zero. <laughs> <laughs> and my dad shows up with nothing but like Hawaii clothes, shorts, awesome. Hawaiian <laughs> shirt, and sandals. And they have this meeting at like seven in the morning. He was super jet lagged, so he had my no God, time, dude. no time at all to get new clothes or business attire or anything. <laughs> so it's at this like fancy hotel. They have like a conference room and it's all the suits. He walks in, he's like long <laughs> table with like 30 guys in suits. And Jim Henson is there, who he had never met before. But the man himself, the legend, Jim Henson, is at this meeting. My dad walks in, wearing the shorts and sandals and everything. And he walks, and I guess, I guess because he was jet lagged or something, he sits down on a, t on a seat and tips back and immediately tips back too far oh. and falls over backwards. <laughs> oh, man. No. no way. <laughs> and he, like, kind of sheepishly gets up and he's like, oh, anything for a laugh. <laughs> and, like, everybody's oh, just God. like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing. Apparently, Jim Henson thought that was hilarious. Of course. And he took a looking to my dad. And my dad always said he was, he was one of the sweetest, coolest people he'd ever known. Um, and, uh, yeah, he, I mean, they still gave him the gig after that, so I guess it didn't kill it. <laughs> but yes, this, uh, this, this story is infamous in our family of my doofus ass dad flipping over That's backwards so in a Hawaiian shirt in the dead of winter. <laughs> Dude, you know Jim Henson loved that, though. Your dad cruising in and blistering cold in a Hawaiian shirt. That's, That's awesome, awesome, dude. That's epic story. Yeah, love that for him. Love that for him. <laughs> Well, um, who's your dad? What's your dad's name? Uh, you don't want to say? You don't have to say. I guess it doesn't. His name's Larry. Larry! Larry. Oh, we love and Larry. You got, you got, uh, You're telling me Larry. And your dad's Gary. Larry and Larry. And Gary. Larry Anyone Gary. else have a dad name that rhymes with that? Larry, my, uh, Gary, and Terry? Our dads would probably get along pretty well. My animal spirit dad, Larry David, so I can... You're right. Larry, yeah. Larry, and Gary. Yes. I feel like I can relate. <laughs> Um, you think my, Larry David would be a good dad, or he'd fuck you up? He would fuck you up, probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But still. <laughs> well, um, he is a dad. 
<laughs> yeah, no, I know he's a dad. I mean, is his, are his kids? He has a daughter. I they think. actually seem pretty legit. They pretty seem cool. nice. Yeah. yeah okay. good, so maybe good, family. good family. Probably fine. <laughs> good family. Good <laughs> family. Um, right, my you, you my story is right, not like go. funny or anything. I wasn't sure what angle we're going, but just, I guess, like, I thought something that's like a lore in the family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that works. Mm -hmm. So in our family, it's the fact that my dad built the house that we live in. Or li I mean, I don't no longer live there, but that's where I live my whole life. Um, so I don't have much to say about it, but that's I have pictures. Mm. The, 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 well, that you built it. He, he, when they were, I don't know, he was like 30 something and he, uh, he made money for himself from like, he was working in, um, way, what do you call it when you built the stones for? Oh, he was a, he was a, a masonry. masonry. Masonry? Is that what it's called? Yeah, he, he built, he built, he did stone Marble, work. yeah. Marble work, yeah. So he would work with marble and, um. He did it on his own independently and saved money and then eventually he bought a piece of land and he uh, built a house and then here it is. <laughs> so when you say he built it... He, he, he knew a lot of people like um, somebody who will lay the floors or somebody that will build the wall or paint, you know, mm, but he sure. kind of like put the whole thing together and he wow. was there every day and... This house looks epic. It's very nice. So, Especially wow. for Israel, but yeah, it's really nice. It's like three stories. Do you know how long it took him, Ela? About like a year from what I've wow. heard. A little bit faster than Lena's dead. Uh, <laughs> a year? Damn, Lena's you dead is still building it. It's been 25 years. <laughs> 25 years? But it's like a Scarface like mansion overseas oh, in Lebanon. 25 yeah. years? Was he building a cathedral? <laughs> it might as well be. It's massive. Just slowly over the summers. Your dad looks badass though. <laughs> He's like, I built this shit. We'll yeah. Oh, look at that. It, that's that's awesome. always kind of like the vibe. Like, yeah, what? You're sitting in the house that I built. <laughs> That's even worse. It's not like, I own this house. Yeah. This is my house. Like, I built this house. You'll wear fucking shoes when you come here, not sandals. <laughs> right. All right. <laughs> and I'm sorry, do you say your family still lives there now? Yeah. That's awesome. That's really cool. Uh, I thought it was kind of cool. But, the, but is there any funny stories about how like the house was kind of fucked up because he built it? Because I feel like you told me that. Uh, no. Oh. No. Can you say the pipes were all fucked up and shit because he built it? Well, no, no, no. It's what, over time, when he was younger, he used to do everything. Like, when he built the house, he would get everything, the most expensive materials, mm. put in all the effort. I don't know what happened over time as he was getting older, but he just was not properly taking care of the house. Okay. So, that's what. Uh, uh, eventually, now when my after he passed away and my mom is kind of left with the house, she had to do a lot of work to to fix things. But I that's see. different. Well, shout out to Yochanan, who built a whole damn house. <laughs> what a man! They don't make men like they used to, huh, folks? What are we gonna do about right. this, man? What would it be without Yohanan? <laughs> he built a whole damn house himself. Isn't it crazy though? Like today you could never do that. He wasn't like rich, you know, he, he, he worked, he saved right. the he money. Right, like, he was a salt of he the earth a, kind of guy. Yeah, a uh, hard working person, but Yeah, not. That, that is crazy, you're right. Allison, my uh, girlfriend, her dad is a lot like your dad. Mm. And they live back in Idaho and they have a gorgeous huge house and yeah he straight up built the entire mm. thing himself i like, guess you wow. can if you live somewhere like idaho but even yeah. like this is 1984 i mean yeah. i wasn't even born yet yeah but like even in idaho i wonder i guess you could if you go to a remote area you could probably yeah and they're fairly remote they're they're out on the prairie out on the prairie so i guess you can still it just depends where you live it's funny when your dad built that house alone was probably considered remote now it's part of like the central area it's expensive mm -hmm. now. Is that true, do you think? It's definitely way more expensive nowadays yeah. than back then, yeah. 
Well, there you have it. Zach, you know any stories about your dad's Let's uh, hear about penis? your dad. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no stories about my dad's penis, but um, I, uh, I was going to share the story that my family always talks about. Well, my friend, I, I was thinking what, what I could tell, and I really, nothing came to mind, but whenever my best friend comes to dinner, we always tell this story, and that's of when <laughs> him and I got arrested. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Um, which I feel like he does to piss my dad off, which is pretty funny, to be honest. Because <laughs> they have a good relationship, but he likes to get his get. But, uh, yeah, well, I, I was, I guess, detained would be the, the proper term. We, uh, we went, two of my other buddies went up to a missile silo, abandoned, in, uh, Chatsworth. And it, it's, it's abandoned. They used to hold bombs there and nukes there for World War II and things crazy. It's creepy as all shit. And the only way you can get up there is um, going up a road that's locked. So there was one day where we decided to, to find a back way up. And we did. It took us about an hour to get up there. We drove my buddy's truck. And um, we got up there and explored and you can actually go in the missile silo. And... We put on gloves, we go down, we get flashlights, and it's creepy as all fuck. There's, like, graffiti. You can look it up. It's called, like, LA-88. And, um, I'm about to go in the silo, and I see an unmarked police car pull up. And it was LA SWAT. And this guy gets out of the car, and he comes out gun blazing. And he's like, what the fuck are you doing up here? Don't you know we do helicopter target practice? I was doing a sweep of the area for one last time. Mm -hmm. And um, that's the story. He put us in. <laughs> so <laughs> that's not the f fi final part of the story, but he puts us in cuffs. And he's like, do you know how much fucking trouble you're in? And I was uh, so scared what my dad was going to say. Did you tell scared. him you're the Joker? I belong in this asylum? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> was there no warnings or anything? How no, did you get there? I'm, we, was there a gate? A fence? I, we, you know? we found a back trail. Back trail? Did you did you tell him, yo, there's a back trail, y'all need to mark that shit? No. No, no, no. We just did it. We just went for it. it took us about an hour to get up there. And so and he, why did you guys go there? Yeah, why did you go up there? Just because we were stupid. <laughs> but did crazy. you hear there was something there? Like, wh what did the you The missile there? silo? Yeah. We, we we always knew there was a missile silo up there. Oh. Sorry, I'm muted. Um, you're talking about the the missile silo up at, in the valley? In Chatsworth, yeah. I snuck into that, too. Yeah, okay, okay. I didn't, okay. Get, I didn't get arrested, though. Yeah. <laughs> so they, I was, so, uh, you went to the bathroom, but they were doing helicopter target practice. Oh, shit. And they were doing uh, the final sweep. <laughs> So oh my God. the guy puts us in cuffs and he's like, do you know how much fucking trouble you're in? This is trespassing, blah, blah, <laughs> blah. And um, he's like, you know what? You caught me on a good day. I'm going to get you. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to get the fuck out of here. So we run to my buddy's truck. Do a full 10 seconds, <laughs> piggy, run. Did he shoot at you? <laughs> no, no. Thank God. But he was fucking putting his hand on his holster. And um, we went down the way of the the paved road rather than the the uh the the dirt road we took to get up there and um as we're coming down the road we just see about like 10 LAPD SWAT just holding these fucking guns and we start hearing helicopters and shit and so yeah that's my story they fire on you no they did they run. stare at you <laughs> they were like you guys are fucking idiots yeah <laughs> So wait, did you go during the night or something, Dan? Because it seems like if Dan we went in the there, middle of the night, yes. Uh, you went in the middle of the day, Zach. Yeah. That's yeah, that awesome. that was probably that was probably your first mistake. Mm. But night would have been fucking <laughs> creepy as shit. It yeah. was. It was very creepy. Yeah. So were your parents pissed? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what they could have done. I mean, <laughs> the worst the worst kind of happened. But yeah, we always uh, tell that story whenever my buddy comes over for dinner. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> The silo story. Yeah, missile silo. Be careful out there. You think they would have used you for target practice? Dude, <laughs> fucking, if they started firing, we'd have been so fucked. Oh my god. 
Because they were doing helicopter target practice. Yeah, I remember when when I went, uh, there were empty shells like oh, all yeah. over the place. Just oh yeah, the floor was like wow. covered. Yeah, it's creepy. Wow. Yeah. So you think they would have seen two guys down there, and they're just like open fire? <laughs> <laughs> I don't Light know. Up. I don't know if they would have seen us. That was the the thing though. That, mm. The guy was doing a final sweep, so he kind of saved our life in a way. Was there bullet holes in? Is that thing all shot up the silo? Well, the silo's in the ground. Yeah, okay. it's like an underground okay. facility. But there's like uh, abandoned buses up there, and um, there's like other things that are just disheveled and fucked. You know what's the weirdest thing? Because did you go down into the silo? Did yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. Was there Arabic writing all over the walls? I don't remember Arabic. I remember a fuck ton of graffiti, though. There was Arabic writing all over the walls, and my assumption was that they were using it for, like, counterterrorism training simulation or mm. something. It oh. was, like, very weird. It... Hmm. Well, you looking at me? I don't know. <laughs> A.B.? I didn't look at you. A.B., <laughs> you know anything about that? You know anything? A.B.? <laughs> no. Thoughts? A.B., thoughts? Um, Ian, go ahead. Um... Uh, Thank you, Zach, by the way. Thank you, Zach. <laughs> All right. uh, something that pops into my head, this is a quick one. It's not some big, long story, but I remember when I was really young, <clears throat> um, I was visiting my family over in England. <clears throat> Sorry to keep bringing it up. But uh, <laughs> uh, we went to the Tower of London. It's like a place um, where they keep the crown jewels and lots of um, museum stuff. And... Outside in the courtyard is like where they would behead people. Um, it's where they beheaded uh, King Henry VIII's wife. Um, two of them, actually. Right. <clears throat> and it's like a kind of a serious place, you know? And we were walking around. And we're standing in front of where they would behead people. Very intense. I was very young, too. And we were sitting there like, this is where they would kill people. That's pretty intense. And there was a guy in front of us. And as we were kind of sitting there, sort of taking in this weird energy, this guy, like, maybe he had too many beans on toast or something, but this guy <laughs> let out, like, the the nastiest, <laughs> loudest shart I've ever heard, like, in my entire life. I've never heard oh one like God. this. And it was dead quiet. There was no <laughs> one there in this courtyard except us. It's like guillotine <laughs> zone and this guy. <laughs> Yeah, it was like that, Did it but like echo? it kind of <laughs> echoed. Yeah, yeah, except even worse. And uh, there was just a moment of silence, and we were standing behind him, and he was like facing back, <laughs> and he kind of went like. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys staring at him in the eyes? Yeah, he locked eyes, and then we, he kind of went like. Do you smile or laugh? No. And then he immediately <laughs> went. Head in the mind. And then he ran off. He just he ran. Yeah, he, he oh ran. My God. Oh, maybe he did shit himself. I gotta go. I'm pretty sure he shit his pants. Wow. <laughs> the power of the of the guillotine in front of him, <laughs> and he just guillotined his gym shorts. Yeah. <laughs> That's like awesome, style. man. I don't his, know. It's his just asshole got possessed by one of those. <laughs> one Spirit of, those of the dead souls. queen. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and uh, that just that that lives on. I just that guy. I've never seen someone so scared. <laughs> that face haunts me. So. <laughs> you know, I have a similar story. When I, it was the day of my bar mitzvah, I was doing my whole ceremony. I think I just finished. I was feeling good. I was feeling happy. Sean Balog was with me in the bathroom. We both yeah. had to go bathroom. We were at the urinals peeing. And just one solitary old dude comes in the empty bathroom and he's taking a piss and he rips the loudest, <laughs> gnarliest fart. <laughs> and, you know, some things just stick with you. And it was so casual. Usually if you fart, you look over. You don't rip ass like that around other people. You are more sly about it. But he's old. I was like, okay, you're old. You don't care. Right. It's interesting. I'm more like that these days because I didn't understand it at the time. But if I'm at the urinal... I don't care who's around me. I'm going to fucking rip the thousand. Oh, really? <laughs> sure, yeah, I'll do it. Ew. If not that, if not now, then when? <laughs> and I feel like it's kind of interesting 
my evolution. <laughs> it's the bathroom. If you you go in, you're pissing. It's time to rip ass. I'm not gonna be all top secret about it. This is where we do these things. <laughs> you're telling me you could be at like an event or something. And there's a bunch of people in the bathroom, and you gotta fart before you pee. You, you'll just I will literally rip. push out to make it loud. Stop. I swear to God, I will. You take pride in it. I started doing that. <laughs> Why? Because it's more, to me, it's more satisfying when it <laughs> comes out like that. What? So, I don't like to subtly fart. It, why, sometimes it gets stuck. Why does stuck. it have to be satisfying? Sometimes it gets stuck. <laughs> sometimes you need, you need to fart. Force. You, sometimes you need to fart before you pee. I get it. No, when you're at the urinal standing and peeing, it's it's a fart time. It's a fart time, baby. <laughs> it's fart time, baby. That These stories do remind me one other story that's kind of like family lore is that... Uh, one time there was, uh, when I was a kid, there was like some kind of war going on and um, the sirens were going off and we had to go to the, the we had a shelter like in the basement. Mm -hmm. We had to all go to the shelter and put on this like mask and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I was on the potty, I was going poop. <laughs> and the siren was going on and everyone's running downstairs and it's like, <laughs> oh my God. I just remembered being on the on the toilet, siren, and everybody's like, come on! Wait, was that when Saddam Hussein was threatening to, yeah. like, uh, chemical warfare on Israel? Yeah. And so, what did you do? Did you, cho were you choosing between... I was like, hold on, hold on, I, I was a kid, I barely remember it, it's just, like, stuck in my memory sitting on the toilet, and, <laughs> so like, dramatic. having to go... <laughs> That's like you don't health. really remember it, it's just kind of told to you? No, I remember being on the toilet and the siren going and everybody's like, Come on, we gotta go downstairs. So did you pinch it off? Did you wipe? I, that, like, I don't remember those details. No. I don't know what, I, I think I finished pooping. You did the whole thing. You wiped, no, you flushed, you washed your hands. My mom was probably helping me, I was a kid. Oh, you were really young. Yeah. You know, I have a similar memory during the Northridge earthquake that was rocked LA I don't I don't know if this ever happened to you Dan but taking a shit during one of those big after sharks was after sh <laughs> shock after sharks. Sharks. <laughs> was so crazy it became an uh shark. that may have happened I I don't specifically yeah. remember getting caught on so uh, I've been on, on the, the shitter during a fairly large after shock <laughs> and the water is just like <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh my God. <laughs> it's great. You get, I mean, you're, pull up a video of a toilet oh, man. during an earthquake. You could see it's just. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen that. It's before. gnarly as hell, dude. Good point. <laughs> I've never seen that before. I have been, I was on the. I was on the shitter during a large aftershock. And it was just like a <laughs> wave pool in there, man, with oh, all the no. turds. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, not seeing many. In the whole history of the world, there's no damn video of a Nobody's toilet. Nobody's caught that? How about yeah. a bathtub or a swimming pool? Show swimming a swimming pool, pool during an earthquake. Oh, yeah, That'll definitely. give you an idea. I can visualize it. The toilet, like... In fact, we got a whole compilation. So, imagine this is the toilet with shit, and these people are sh pieces of shit. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Whoa, that's crazy. Blown yeah, so that's what the toilet was like, but it's sloshing on the sides. Dude, that's so scary. Holy shit. This is be scary. terrifying. That is beautiful. actually pretty wild. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't look like they're very strong swimmers either. Oh my god. Someone help that pork child. Okay, enough. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, those are my shits. <laughs> Splashing at my asshole. I did see some people can, saying. Can that you guys show a video where like people are drowning? <laughs> <laughs> There's like I, I fun video. I didn't embed it very. We have to watch people drown. <laughs> swimming pool during earthquake compilation. What, what can you do? They're hey, fine. Uh, also, by the way. your They're story. Fine. Your story about you <laughs> farting freely. Um, a lot of people were pointing this out. It does seem to confirm. Uh, this is not real. I don't know this if I believe This is clearly that. not real. This? It seems to be CCTV This is the footage. security footage, okay. apparently, of me and Danny's by myself. People have <laughs> absolutely framed me. This oh, is man. crazy footage. You're just farting your ass off. That looks photoshopped. That looks edited. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> looks pretty authentic to me. Would you rip in the Denny's? Well, apparently you did. No, no. <laughs> Why not? I mean, I wouldn't rip loud if I was in a restaurant. I would fart, but not loud. <laughs> well, how can... How many years until you, uh... <laughs> yeah. I don't think I'll ever do that. No? You'll get there. 
Depends how loud it is in the restaurant. Like if, if Theodore or Eli are next to me, I would like them to hear it. Of course. Yeah. But I don't want the people next to us in the what booth did next we do? to us. It's part of the joy. It's sharing. Theodore loves when I fart, by the way. So he fucking loves it. No, he doesn't. He thinks it's so funny. <laughs> I go, You're I go, brainwashing him to think that it's fine. I go, Theodore, hold on. I have something really important to tell you. And he always looks at me, super expectant, and then I fart. And he goes, it's gross. <laughs> 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 but I get him every time. It's awesome. I, every time. <laughs> Theodore, hold on. I, did you want to know something really interesting? <laughs> every time. It works. It's awesome. <laughs> Poor boy. He wants to learn something new when you say He does. That. He does. Like, yes, teach me something. Theodore, hold on. Do you hear that? I go, do you hear that, Theodore? <laughs> Every time it works. <laughs> so good. <laughs> it's so good. Um, AB, did you tell a story? No, I didn't. Not yet. Go ahead. So I was having trouble coming up with one. Um, so I thought I'd just explain, like, some family lore. You talking to mm-hmm. Mike, please? A family meme. Cool, cool. talking to Mike. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Zach. Uh, I've explained on the show before that... I come from like a really religious family, not my parents, but like my aunts and uncles, especially my aunts and my grandmother. And uh, it kind of fucked up my cousins because they were told they're going to hell for everything. So they sort of rebelled as they got older. Um, so I put together just like a minute video showing, uh, showing this meme. They act like they want to punch my aunt in the face when they see her, like they see red. Their mom? Their mom. Oh, I got to see act this. Like they go into a blind <laughs> rage. They never do. And she ends up laughing. But wait, I got to oh see this. God. Let me see this shit. Roll it. Is it this one? Yeah. Here. Oh, I can click oh, I got it. it. I got it. Okay. Uh, so, these on? are my cousins, yeah. Tim and Brandon. We know Tim, of course. This was Lena's first time meeting him. <laughs> okay, we paused for context. <laughs> Thanks for the okay, show so I've notes, already, I've already, I made this right before the show, by the way. I've already explained this context about how they okay. act like they're going to hit their okay. mom because of all the years of... Uh, of being tortured, told they're going to hell, so they act like they hate her when they see her. But okay. it's just a meme. Am I muted? Is that why? Yeah. Oh, is it? Oh, there we go. So, yeah, this is my cousin Brendan acting like he's gonna throw his mom off the roof. This is my. This is him acting like he's gonna kill my aunt Selma. Oh my God. <laughs> Wait, is that Tim? He's so skinny though. Yeah, that was yeah, that was pretty juiced up. Pretty juiced up. <laughs> Is at the hospital? He actually didn't punch his mom. Oh my God. <laughs> this, uh, <laughs> he's actually going to kill my aunt. But then <laughs> Lena comes out and he stops. Because he hides okay, the people. Lena walked in. I'm going to start doing that to my mom. Wow. So <laughs> my grandmother was like really bad telling us we're going to go to hell for everything. So then me and my cousins just started to act crazy and just do <laughs> random ass shit. Because she doesn't understand English. So they would just make noises and stuff. So yeah, this is how it was with my grandma, if you unpause it. I had to blur her because she's not wearing a scarf. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, there, there was a longer cut with Tim messing with my grandma, but I took that out because Tim may be a little too far. <laughs> you took it too far with Nana? Tim would just like, Tim would just like, she'd just be like dozing off and Tim would just like scream. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> scare the fuck out of her. I guess she's yeah. getting revenge. I mean, if she really I mean, tortured them. I mean, we don't them, condone that. Me and, me, and my deal cousin, with it. me and his younger brother, the one that was doing the Doctor Strange and the Force Lightning, was, were more playful. <laughs> Tim's a little out there. Um, I'm going to start doing that to my, to my mom and put her in a headlock. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. Tim used to go to my grandmother. She... As she got older, started to get a little bit more senile, and he would, thought it was so funny to give her like a big butcher knife and tell her stay protected. And she like put it under the the bed. And he I'm said, like, "Give her a big, big butcher knife and tell her what? Stay protected." That's insane. <laughs> or he like start chanting like some Lebanese like political like chants and get her hyped up. She's thinking she's like back in the war. That's f- wow. That's kind of fucking nuts, dude. Tim is, I'm surprised Tim is, that she goes along with it. She said he said she's senile. Or, well, the one she would, in yeah, the I mean, video she are was, laughing. That sounds like elder abuse. She would laugh. I mean, she, she loved him. She would always. She liked him the most. It was uh, very interesting. <laughs> okay. So, elder abuse or no? She's dead. Okay, well. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, uh, just clearly, yes. If it wasn't, no, she'd still be alive. Out, that's why I took out Tim's, Tim's part, because I was like, <laughs> people may interpret that the wrong way. We love Cousin Tim. <laughs> 
Um, I'm going to do that to my mom. I'm going to give her a butcher knife, put her in a headlock. <laughs> and start telling her we're being invaded. <laughs> the chat saying, A.B., tell the, uh, the pissy story. <laughs> the, the what? Uh, my cousins were so fucking bad that <laughs> they started calling their mom the P word. Because she was like super religious and they were so fucking bad that they were like, they the called B word or P word? The P word. Which P? Like, but, but they said with an accent, they call her pissy. What's that, pissy? They used to say it like that, like they <laughs> oh, were like, uh, pissy? Oh, like that P word. <laughs> it's so Pussies. fucking, I can't, like, I can't explain it in a short amount of time, so I'm just not, because it sounds so fucking bad. It is so fucking bad, but, but like, it got Pussies. to the point where, like, like, they would be like, I love you, pissy. And they would, and she would, like, hug him, like, oh, I love you too. Like, it just, like, it was just like a nickname, like, That's crazy. Yeah. It's wild. <laughs> it's wild. And she couldn't tell any of the other adults because, like, she was embarrassed to say, like, oh, my kids are this <laughs> fucked up. And I was young, and I was like, oh, I don't want to snitch on my cousins. And, yeah, it was just a circus in that house. <laughs> That's wild. Who's Malcolm this? in the middle. <laughs> uh, real life. Nice. There you have it. <laughs> love, you got a story? Or can? Uh, I didn't really, but Zach did in inspire me. He kind of <laughs> unlocked a childhood memory, uh, if I should tell that, maybe. Uh, with the whole, like, police chase and stuff like that. Uh, so this requires a link. I have a Google Drive link, or a Google Maps link. Got it. Uh, so make sure that it doesn't show anything doxy on your end. No, nope. it's just a Google right, Maps, so right? Yeah. Okay. Exactly. All right. So uh, if you show that uh, yellow house right there, I'm just looking so around. To the nice right. neighborhood. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah, that's all right. Yeah. But anyway, here's that's, the yellow house. So that house is clearly cursed, right? If it you looks zoom in. fucked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty yeah. cursed. Uh, and it's like one off in the whole neighborhood. <laughs> There's this one creepy ass house, uh, and if, this is right by my school, by the way. So. Uh, every time me and my friends walked home to do whatever we used to hang out every time after school, we walked past this building every day and we never saw anyone, but there was a rumor that the drapes on the upstairs level moved sometimes. Uh, so me and my friends like just hunkered down and sat outside this house for maybe two hours. <laughs> and just looked at it and there was these in sweden because uh, there's a lot of snow uh, they put like um, small gravel super tiny gravel on the ground so we took this small gravel and just like threw like threw them at the window every now and then super dumb yeah <laughs> i admit uh, but maybe after one hour of doing that just randomly throwing a, a small rock on the window there came out there came out this like slender super tall old man oh, with like man. super long creepy hair <laughs> and just started chasing us you got well, slender man dude you literally yeah, got slender literally man. slender man did you not think super that anyone creepy. actually lived there no no one did no even, even like the adults who uh, i'll get to it later in the video but or in, in the explanation uh, like even adults people thought it wasn't that weird that we did it because there was no one living there everyone was under that uh, impression and uh, yeah, so he came out, he ran through that creepy ass gate, as you can see uh, on, uh, on the Google Maps thing. And if you look to the left uh, in, in uh, Google Maps. The other way across the street? Uh, no, so the other way. Uh, mm -hmm. Follow this road straight down. Uh, so the other way, other way. Other way. <laughs> so at the bottom of this street, if you go straight down, yeah, keep going. Keep going, uh, keep going, uh, and to the right up here, that's a cemetery. <laughs> and one of my friends got split off, my, me and my friends ran left here. M one of my friends, who was at the end, ran straight, uh, so straight ahead, into the cemetery and got chased by this old man into the cemetery. <laughs> what the oh fuck, God. he chased him? <laughs> this, yeah. So, so we later, we were all like just running, like super scared, super much adrenaline. And we realized, where the fuck is Tim? Tim is gone. We, where is Tim? And we like ran back and looked for him. And we like, sat, like uh, walked peop through people's yards. And we noticed that Tim was at the fucking 
cursed house. Turns out he had been pulled back by this old man no back way. into oh, the house. Oh no. What? Yeah. Uh, we had no clue what the fuck to do. Uh, turns he, out he, he actually was him? called the... Wait, he caught yeah, him he caught and him. then carried him back to his house? Yeah, and he said he he said like super creepy stuff like he will kill him and shit <laughs> in there. Yeah. So oh my god. Turns out though he just called the police. Uh, uh, but we were like super scared. Like, do do we tell our parents that we threw rocks at this house? Because uh, we, we need help to fetch Tim, like to get back Tim. <laughs> uh, so we were like this. We were maybe nine, and we were like trying to do the math. Do we tell our parents? <laughs> Or is it let him die? Just let him die. Yeah. <laughs> Tim exactly. Die. Yeah. Tim, you're so fucked. Like, <laughs> oh shit! And uh, well, we ended up telling our parents, and we walked back to the house with our parents. And uh, uh, when we came back there with our parents, the police was were there. Oh. And to pick wow. up your friend. <laughs> well, we were super young, so they just told us to not like, throw shit at throw rocks not, at people's houses. <laughs> yeah. You know that Fair. unlocked like, another memory for me. Great story, yeah. by the way, love. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I just want to add, like, all the parents, all our parents involved were, like, all, like, super... They were almost compassionate to us because they, too, were super surprised. That They're there like, was what? <laughs> and, by the way, my friend Tim is the only person I know that has been in that house except that old dude. And there's, like, old boxes, like, super creepy, moldy, and this dude apparently lives there and never leaves. Ooh. Yeah. What the heck in dog? <laughs> looks like, um, it looks like in the show Dark. Totally. <laughs> totally. A cursed, like, fairy tale. Yeah. That re reminds me, so another sh story about Sean. When we were in, there was also like an abandoned fucked up house by our school. And it was across the street from our, there, during recess we had like a big field, but it was all gated off. And during recess, there was this abandoned house, and unlike you guys, with th through little pebbles, we were actually degenerate fucks, and we would get big ass rocks <laughs> and huck it across the street at the house, trying to break its windows. Nice. So every recess, we would go down to the gate, get rocks, and fucking just lob rocks at this house. <laughs> I don't know why we did that. It's so stupid Kids and crazy. Stupid I mean, we shit. were probably about the same age you were. Well, Sean takes it upon himself, this psycho. I, I, he didn't tell anyone who was going to do this. He didn't give us any warning. He picks up a big-ass rock. Not my brother, Sean. Mm, your friend. My friend. Bella. Um, he, he jumps the fence, goes right up to the house, and fucking launches a rock right into the window, point blank. Shatters the window. Oh Everybody god. jets. We're just like, what just happened? <laughs> oh my god! Everyone spreads out. Sean jumps over the fence. The principal comes out, snitch, and then Sean snitched on all of us because we were so young. Wait, the sh <laughs> were both my Sean's friend. involved in this story? What? No, it's Sean Ballo. Wait, Sean so man. he was the one who did it, and then he snitched on you guys? Yeah. What but he was a kid. He was a kid. Well, no, they, you know, you under the bus. just to give him a, just to give him, they're like, you need to tell us who else was throwing rocks. And he's like, hey, they're like, oh, we're going to fucking call them. Whatever. They, sh <laughs> they shake you down. But anyway, we all got suspended. <laughs> <laughs> I got suspended, which honestly was like the best thing ever for me. I didn't mm. care because you just skip. But I was like, what are you? Wow. It just blew our minds. This fucking kid. He, I was, wow. <laughs> And of course, someone lived there, and he had to pay for the window and shit. Of course, someone lived there. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta use the bathroom. Yeah, but before you call him a snitch, he was like eight. Yeah. Fair enough. Sean. Still though. Um. Snitch behavior. Anyone else? Cameron, you got one? No, I really couldn't think of any. I, mean, I know we've had a lot of time to think about it, but I didn't think of anything good to share. All right. That's all right. Anyone else? Sam? Anyone got one that I didn't call on? I have one I think I could tell. You want to come over here? Uh, I can stay here. It's fine. Okay. Uh, so this is a super infamous one within my family. Uh, on the 4th of July one year, uh, we were at a family gathering, and my uncles were in charge of lighting the fireworks. 
Um, we had a firework punk. Do you know what like a punk is? Mm -mm, not it's like a context. big sparkler that you stick in the ground, and it's meant like you can light fireworks quickly and then plant them so they can oh, go off. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so during the grand finale, one of my uncles was lighting them and turning them around super fast, and he was like maintaining a squat the whole time. He lost his balance squatting, and he fell back onto the punk. Nice. And he was wearing swim shorts. <laughs> Uh, we had to rush him to the ER where they had to remove like melted nylon from his asshole. Oh, Literally. Oh and God. he had he had no. like second and third degree burns. No, 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 no. So so a pump? I'm still don't a I, punk. Look. It's uh here. Here's a picture of one. Um I'm a I'm a eat your ass. I'm a <laughs> so bad. What am it I was so at? bad in the moment, but it's so funny now. <laughs> oh, a lighter? Well, no, it's like it's like it looks like a big sparkler, but yeah, doesn't here. sparkle oh, 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 per se. Oh, a, a, a sparkler. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah. But it's meant for lighting fireworks quickly. Right. Got it. Okay, you so he fell on. He fell on the, other fireworks. He yeah, fell he on like the punk. And his shorts like melted to his asshole. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that is horrific. Happy Fourth of July, baby. Yeah. Yep. Love that for him. He's okay <laughs> though, right? Oh yeah, yeah. He's fine. <laughs> yeah, so by the way, I gotta I have to pee so bad, I'll be right back. But I have some juicy gossip for you guys, so hold on one sec. Ooh. Yeah. For us or the audience? Uh, oh, everybody. Oh. <laughs> I have no idea what he's talking about. Interesting. Alright. Dan, can you show the picture I sent? Because I feel like I kinda shit talked to my father in law and I want to do him justice. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, see it. I mentioned that he took 25 years. <laughs> I wasn't trying to shit on him. It's because he doesn't live in Lebanon, so he does, he's been doing this on the side forever. But what's insane Holy to me, shit. Oh yeah, God, is that this is crazy. like a Scarface mansion. Yeah, you weren't yeah. kidding. And uh, to put it lightly, sorry, Lena, it's not like Lena's family's you know very wealthy. We're just you know we're, we're born small time people, you know. So mm -hmm. she has a, like a, she has like six siblings and like a two bedroom house a three-bedroom house where she's lived her whole life. So after about a year or two of us dating, I saw this photo after her dad came back from Lebanon once. And I was like, holy shit, this is your guys. It just, it blew my mind. But I guess it's normal for a lot of Arabs where they like are building a house overseas for years. Uh -huh. um, that's like a retirement plan or like that's the dream. To sure. A house yeah. for the family, to be left for the family. That's crazy. That yeah. looks so epic. Did yeah. you tell me there's no addresses there? Yeah, there's That's no true. addresses. My brother-in-law was telling me that, like, in Lebanon, I don't know if it's all areas, or certain areas, like, if you're doing a delivery, they'll be like, go up the hill, <laughs> past the, the big tree, and in between oh these God. two trees, that's the house, the... Wow. Whatever the name of the family is. So how current is this picture? This one is from last summer. Um, mm. Lebanon is in a shit situation right now. Mm -hmm. um, and Lena's dad's like, it's time to cash in on that because <laughs> everything oh. is super cheap. So oh, they got that house decked out now with furniture and... Uh, wow. Yeah. So a lot of people are going overseas right now to finish up these projects that they've been working on forever. That is so epic. Yeah. Do you guys plan on ever going there? Um, I would like to, as long as I have a big group with me, I, the mm. thought of being in a situation that I can't talk myself out of is very mm. scary. Right. <laughs> like, I, I just, I don't know, being in a foreign country where I can't uh, understand what's being told and everything, yeah. what's being said, How I, I wouldn't be How is the English knowledge there? It's not, uh, I, like... I, I think there's a good amount, but I don't know. I just, I need to know more about it. Yeah. Especially because I look white, but I have, like, a bunch of Arabic tattoos on me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 and also, I have my my parents' names tattooed on me in Arabic, which is actually I don't want to say their names, but um, actually I'm just gonna stop talking. But anyways, <laughs> my parents' names are related to two people in Lebanon who are of high power, and uh, yeah, that might cause me some problems in the wrong areas. Got yeah. it. Interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, real quick, there's a donation that I wanted to acknowledge from the <laughs> export. <laughs> Said, hey, Ethan, I'm the original creator of the Joe Biden video you guys reacted to last show. Can you give me a shout out? Well, here it is. Shout out to this small creator. And uh, yeah, he re reached out to me on the Discord after the show the other day. Because remember, we were speculating, like, is, was this guy a fan? He's, he's, a, he's mm. a Fupa Trooper. 
More. So shout out, yeah, more, more from the export, keep making please. It. We'll keep, we'll keep showing them. Brilliant, brilliant edit you did, dude. Love you so much. Lena, do you have any stories? Um, not any that I could think of right now. All righty. <laughs> no problem. All right, you promised some juicy ass gossip. Okay, yeah, so the gossip. you guys might remember that Faze Blanks went on David Dubrick's podcast and confronted him for this crypto scam that he was a part of. The bunny thing. What was it called? Uh, they were called uh, something bunnies. Uh, check it in the doc. I actually am not really aware of the story, so. <laughs> okay, I'll, t I'll tell you. I'll tell you from board the bunnies. Board, yeah. you. board bunny. Board bunny. Board bunnies. Just one of these dumb, lazy, pump and dump, NFT crypto bullshit scams. David was paid to promote Wait, it. A very good one. Yep. You know. Uh, speaking of that, okay. David had uh, Banks on the podcast, and fucking, where's that episode? You know. Oh, uh, well, uh, who's from? Who's doing NFT Please, scams? I, I'm in the we would never I'm do NFT. By the way, it's just funny that uh, he's talking to Mike Malik. Yeah. About crypto scams and oh well he knows a few things about ding doink. Well he, you could tell he's like he even said he's like I, I, I'm staying out of this one. <laughs> yeah. Well anyway, so Faze Blanks went on David Dobrik's podcast and he confronted him. He's like, Yo, you partook in this big crypto scam and he called him out for it. Mm. And why so, did Bl why did Banks um feel like he needs to call out David, isn't he also doing stuff like that? Or Apparently not? not. Apparently oh, Banks not? is an investor. Banks is like a true believer. Oh, he, th yeah. he thinks this is going somewhere, you know, okay. we can disagree on that, but from all reports, he's not really been involved in the shady stuff, at least direct. Okay. Some, some phase people have, but he, but he even punished them for being involved in that. He's okay. not been involved in any of the shady stuff, as far as we know. As far as okay. we know. In fact, he owns a lot of these big ones, like... Uh, the um, board apes or whatever. Crypto like he's an investor. He believes. He owns. So here he called out David Dubrick. Dubrick. Um, and Faze called him out. He said they offered me seven hundred to se five hundred thousand to seven fifty up front for a story post follow. I think it's worth noting I didn't make this mistake only because I've taken the time to educate myself. A lot of these influencers take deals brought to them by their management. He's calling out Dobrik for. Look at that. Did you see this video? Like, it's so embarrassing. No, feet a little more wet with some NFTs, if you know what I mean. So I kind of went to the tippy top of the NFT world and check this out. I got a board bunny. And not only is a board bunny, but it looks like me. Look at that. We're, we have the same hat. And it's so sick. If you're young and naive. It's so sick. It's so sick. Oh, this is the best part. Listen to this, Hila. It's so sick. If you're young and naive, just like my brother and want to get into NFTs, you should check out Board Bunny. They have literally over 150,000 people in the Discord. So it's like a ginormous ass group chat. Um, and if, yeah, if you're interested at all, just start it on their Instagram page. All right, let me know. So, I wanted to so apparently he got paid like half a million bucks for that. Wow. Which tells you it's legit. Mm -hmm. You know. If you're dumb and impressionable. You should get involved in this scam. I can't believe he... Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the way he just spells it out like that. If you're young and naive... <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, so so Faze Banks went on his podcast. I guess David invited him on, and Faze called him out. They had a whole long discussion about it, and that was like a month or two ago, and it never came out. Uh, so me and uh, me and Banks, being best friends we are, <laughs> I DM'd him, yeah, and I said, "Hey, whatever happened with uh, the Dobrik podcast? Is it true that yeah. it just didn't air?" And here's what uh, Banks, my best buddy, told me. He said, it was unfortunately cut. He told me his legal can't let it go out the way it is. <laughs> wow. He says it sucks, too, because we had a candid interview about it, but we're working on a reshoot. He says he's been talking about it on his Instagram. Um, but so he says, David said my legal team won't let me put this out. Wow. Which, A, tells me either, one, he's lying and he just looks like a moron. Or, two, if his legal team really doesn't want to let him put him out, then you know it's bad. So, That's it's embarrassing. an additional and special fuck uh, David Dobrik. Thank you. H3H3 humor.
Thank you, Faze, <laughs> my best buddy. With that intel. What the fuck are you saying? Does he mind you sharing that? We'll I don't out. know. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have? <laughs> well, no, what I said was, I says, are you going to comment on it or reshoot? I said, you want to call him to discuss? He said, I have covered it all on my Instagram story. So he says he's already talked about it. Got it. Okay. Got it. So it's already public. Yeah, he says it's already public. So I'm assuming it's fine. Can you imagine? That's crazy. My lawyers won't let me put this out, bro. I'm so sorry. That's what I should have told Bill Burr. <laughs> <laughs> bro, my lawyers won't let me put this out. This way. I'm so sorry. So sorry. <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. Um, so that's pretty good gossip. Not bad. Not bad. Thank you Sorry. very much. Appreciate it. Wait, CNN already ended their... Oh my God, yeah. It's already over. One month. CNN Plus, they, start, they tried to have their own exclusive <laughs> no. streaming. Which on face value, it already is not... Nobody wants that. Who wants that? People who watch CNN, it's like a transient channel. You just put it on right. to consume some news real fast. You're not invested in the channel or the personalities at all. So when they come out with this, you know what was, you know what it may have been a better investment than CN, CNN Plus? CNN Minus? <laughs> Got Interesting. Him. Uh, no, actually, you know what was even a better investment? What was Casey's company they bought? Oh, Beam. Uh, Beam. Yeah, Beam was a better investment than this shit. <laughs> well, so here's some stats on it. Right, A.B.? You, you tell me which one's worse. <laughs> Remember Quibi. In Casey's Qu hands, it would have been good. Sure, yeah, but yeah. Casey's <laughs> hands, did they fucking... What do you mean? It wasn't I mean, Casey's hands. I mean, hands. before he sold it, if he would have stayed and hold on to it. Yeah, it maybe you're right. Very successful. So Quibi, or Quibi, or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Uh, they spent $1.74 billion on that, and it lasted eight months. <gasps> right? CNN Plus is $300 million they what? invested in it, and it lasted one month. How do you bail, how after, do you? How do you bail after one month and wow. spending? Wait, CNN has $300 million? Dollars? Well, CNN is um, owned by, is it Time Warner? Um, what? They're, they're, Turner Media. Oh, it's Turner. Right, right, it's Turner. So, yeah, they're, I mean, they're part of a big... Turning a loss media. Oh, <laughs> fucking got them. Uh, yeah, according to this article, uh, yeah, Quibi... With that one, uh, 1.74 billion, that was 218 million per month, whereas CNN spent 300 million for one month. So wow. this is actually a bigger failure than Quibi. Apparently, what they did they spend so much money on? Wait, no. <laughs> That's a great question. <laughs> wait, 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 you guys, no, they sold a, a CNN plus NFT. Did they really? <laughs> CNN Come sold on. a commemor commemorative oh. NFT to celebrate the launch as an important day. In CNN history, 50 bucks. Check this out. 87 remaining, 250 total. They still haven't sold them. I'm amazed uh, they sold any. Me too. $300 million later. Who wants that? I mean, you would think that 250 I is not a lot. Get it. <laughs> They're still for sale, by the way, so. Oh, we could, pick <laughs> could buy all of them. We get a discount now, maybe? Now that it's... Uh... Oh, that's going Service on. lasted 23 days <laughs> before being shut down. <laughs> yeah, not even a month. <laughs> wow. CNN Plus, a streaming service that was hyped as one of the most significant developments in the history of CNN, will shut down. CNN reporting on its own death <laughs> just one month after it launched. You're talking about yourself, you know. But... Yeah, why did they quit after one month? I guess it's that expensive. <laughs> well, listen to this. I'll tell you why. According to the New York Times, there are four times as many people watching our stream right now than there were at any given time watching <laughs> CNN Plus. There were fewer than 10,000 people at a time were using the service. But then, do they, did they not count on like needing to build that audience over time? They just wanted from the get-go to have They like, thought they had gold. Millions. It's gold. Who mm -hmm. doesn't want to pay like for when cable news? Okay, when Disney Plus launched, for example, they got like millions of subscribers. 
from the beginning. So you need, like when they, it says last week a report detailed fewer than 10,000 people are using CNN <laughs> Plus on a daily basis. It's not at once, Dan. <laughs> on it's a daily basis? On a daily basis. <laughs> it's so good. So if you have like 10,000 people who sign up to subscribe, it's 50 bucks or five bucks. You're doing $50,000 a month revenue on a $300 million investment. <laughs> oh my God. And the operational costs probably insane too. Can't wait to report your death. Nice. <laughs> 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 CNN plowed millions into the venture, raiding news executives and producers from places like ABC News and NBC News. CNN had also made some deals with talent for CNN Plus that had to un that it had to unveil, according to a person. Uh, familiar. With, what were they planning on CNN Plus that was supposed to be so interesting? Well, so another, uh, I, I'm not, I, yeah. Again, I, that whole model, I, I can understand it for a premium, you know, uh, service like Disney Plus or HBO Max or something where they're putting out original content that you can only get there. But it's like, it's the news. That's like you I'm can get the news all over the place for free right now. Like CNN.com. Sure, right. CNN, From the channel. CNN. Yeah. yeah, it's like, I, I, you can't watch both at once. CNN is already on 24 hours a day. Like, when are you going to be watching CNN Plus? It's weird that they weren't able to pull it off to me. <sighs> Apparently, part of it is there was some corporate mergers. The person whose, like, pet project it was setting it all up had been pushed out of the company prior oh. to it launching. So I think they already, the new people were probably like, this is a stupid idea, but let's just see where it goes. And when they saw the subscriber numbers, they were like, just, just kill this shit. But, I mean, they were advertising all around town. I've seen the billboards all over L.A. Like, trying to get, like, you know, they put money into marketing. It would thing. have to be, like, original. Like, sometimes CNN has, like, documentaries or shows. It would have to be, like, something not news-related, but... Yeah. Maybe that if was... That's why I'm surprised they weren't able to pull it up. Look, if you're, if you're Warner Media, nobody's paying... Do it under a different brand. I'm just... Yeah. CNN is just not yeah. where I'm trying to get right. a monthly subscription. I think the NFT shows that they're trying to dab in everything. The NFT is so dumb. Yeah, that's, that does indicate a scattershot uh, mm -hmm. approach here, where it's like, let's just try and make some money however we can. You know they paid some PR firm a shitload of money for that NFT idea. Uh, yes, actually. I, in one of the articles I read, I saw them referring to uh, a um, consulting firm that had <laughs> supposedly projected the numbers and, uh, you know, they fell like 20 times short of what the uh, projections were. So, whoops. I love projections. It's literally the most useless, baseless bullshit. <laughs> like when you go to Shark Tank, they go, we project we'll do $20 million next yeah. year. It's like, really? Well, next I project next year I'll be announced as the Pope. I mean, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? You have a crystal ball? It's so stupid. <laughs> um, all right, so now we're at the end of the episode, so let's do a title. <laughs> what do you guys think? Uh, you we know my vote, man. It's, it's all about beans the and toast beans forever. and toast extravaganza. I'm double, triple, triple down on that. I do not think people will want to watch that. <laughs> I'll click it anyway. Hmm. All right, let's talk. I disagree. What's chat saying? Uh, we didn't do DAP. Oh, we didn't do DAP. Well, people are talking about DAP. I don't know though. It's we've been going for three we hours. Do DAP. I just have the funny kind of weird, wild shit from DAP. I'm not familiar enough to know about the ins and outs of the DAP thing. I'm out of my depth, you might say. Oh, <laughs> you guys are on fire today. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You heard? I, I Amber heard. heard? Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! He did that! Yeah, I took it there. Well, um, there's just a few moments that I thought were kind of funny or interesting without, like, delving too deep into the this is and that's of it. Or dare I say the depths of it? I think that's that kind of the much same thing I did. <laughs> wow. Well, I, you know, we're circling, you know. It's too soon to circle. Yeah. No, we're circling. We're circling. <laughs> work with me. Work with me. All right, I'll work with you, Zach. I'll Bingo! work with you. <laughs> All right, here's a good moment from the... Uh, 
Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp position. Oh. Okay. Okay. That's a new one. This guy is <laughs> on a roll. This That's guy's a on a roll. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just saying, well, Zach, you did the same one I did. Put your hand away. <laughs> is there not sound? What's happening? Or is he just so quiet? Yeah. Is there? What in God's fucking world? What are we watching? <laughs> There's, there should be audio, man. Um, so, Mr. Depp, on September 6th, 2013, you send Miss Heard a text that says, Thank you for your letter. I love you. Yes, scroll down. Correct. She writes, Thank you for mine. Did I read that right? You did. And then you write, the only reason we go for the throat is love. Did I read that right? You did. And then she writes, my throat is yours. <laughs> You're going to be the death of me, but I don't care. And then you write, I have other uses for your throat, which do not include injury. <laughs> What a romantic. I have other uses yeah. for your throat, so which do not include injury. Sorry, could you read that again? <laughs> Those are your words, sir, right? Mm -hmm. I read that right, correct? You did. Well, he didn't threat. He I mean, he didn't. Th right. He's just a romantic guy. He wants to fuck her mouth. <laughs> that is so gross, by the way. Yeah, that's pretty disgusting. But okay, they have a different kind of relationship, right? Okay. They have the kind of relationship where they... Uh, Depose and subpoena each other in court. That's just romance. <laughs> yes, exactly. That, that, that's the kind of uh, romance where you have to turn over all your text messages to court during a defamation case. You wouldn't understand. Mm -hmm. It's brutal. It's brutal. Like that having, is very... having having your your relation like with a toxic relationship like that having it aired out publicly. It's being broadcast on TV. Millions of people <laughs> watching it. It's just like... So. Uh... I oh, actually great. haven't been following at all, and so this loss, should we do any kind of like little so, brief? Yeah, I guess just to to give some context to what's going on now, this lawsuit because there are uh, is a multitude of them is him here in the United States suing her for defamation for she wrote an op-ed in I think it was the Washington Post yeah um, during the beginning of the whole Me Too thing claiming that he was an abuser and hit her and all this okay. stuff. Um, there's been all kinds of lawsuits back and forth. It is worth noting, uh, you know, he, this suit is, what, what all the buzz is about is he's brought all of this evidence, including recordings of her being abusive towards him. So he's doing the old switch route, like, no, you were the one who was abusive. Mm -hmm. um, but the trial isn't actually about whether or not she abused him. It's about whether or not she lied uh, when she wrote that mm -hmm. article. And so that's, you know, we're not actually going to get uh, an answer from the court about whether or not she abused him. Uh, we're just going to get an answer about whether or not she lied about it. Um, this I think whole thing is like live broadcasted on. Yeah. Things. Yeah. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, people are people are watching it. Well, apparently she's shit in his bed. Did you know that? I have right. heard about that. And there's all these pictures of Johnny, like, just totally trash. Like, I don't know if it, let's watch this one. Let's see. Johnny, Johnny, yes, Papa. Eating <laughs> sugar, no, Papa. Telling lies, no, Papa. Johnny, Johnny, ha, ha, ha. He says he looked at it on his, on his phone. I'll rule the objection as the photograph. What was the photograph of Mr. Depp? It was a, it was a, it was a photograph of the bed, our bed, um, and on my side of the bed, um, was human fecal matter. Wait, can you can you try that again, Johnny? <laughs> Human fecal matter. <laughs> oh, there's a sound bite. He's doing a dramatic reading of the courts. Human the fecal court. matter. Human, uh, yeah, Zach, please. 
<laughs> okay. Human fecal matter. Why do you say it like that? Yeah. Human fecal matter. <laughs> Was human fecal matter. <laughs> um, By the way, you gotta be really nuts to take a shit in someone's bed out of anger. Mm. And I feel like that's not even disputed, right? Like, he has a picture of it. Her lawyer indicates that it was from the dog. It, it's all disputed. Does like, it look like a human <laughs> shit or a dog shit? They're arguing over every inch of all of this. Oh, so, God. I mean, you know. That's awesome, though. Yeah. Shitting in the bed out of anger. Yeah, it was human on Twitter. Matter. It was trending yesterday. Amber Turd. Yeah. Amber <laughs> Turd. <laughs> Dude, I just I, what, oh, can't God, these people that's just like so messy. They they've both destroyed each other's lives. I feel like and like damn, y'all could have just kept it all private and moved the fuck on. I guess she started with that op ed. Right. That's I what don't know. It all I don't off. know nothing about this whole thing. Is like I don't know, man. All I know is she apparently shit in the bed. Apparently. I have seen pictures of it. It's, it's ambiguous. It could have been a dog. It could have been a human, right? Have you guys seen it? It was hard to tell from the I photo. have not seen I did not know. Look, was, just Google uh, Amber Turd and see if it shows up. <laughs> so For I, your own sake, don't put it on the screen. Yes, I got it. understood why it wasn't a good time to go down there. Um, oh, there it is. What do you? What's your take? Here, put it up for Ela, but don't switch to it again. <laughs> oh, oh! I was gonna say it just depends on the dog, but I'm seeing from this post that it was a Yorkie. Uh, yeah, this doesn't. I mean, yeah. you guys have Yorkies. We'll tell you. Well, show me. Yorkie poop. Is that, that, a, is that a Yorkie poop? Doesn't look like a Yorkie poop. It's hard to tell. It it's just a weird tell, low res. But that looks like not a Yorkie poop to me. Yeah, this looks like a vintage poop photo. It's really messy. It's, <laughs> it's really messy little kind of diarrhea, isn't it? Yeah. That's a nasty one. It doesn't really look it's like a bigger human than poop, me. though, either. It looks just like... I don't know. It's just Like, if they had a big dog, I would say I can't tell. No, fact, it's too big for a Yorkie. Exactly, yeah. It's too yeah. Big. So, and yeah, that does lean towards it being... It's like a human. big puddle. I don't think... I don't think Shredder poops like that. Is there paper in there? Is this oh scene? yeah. Is there one where so you I wonder can? wonder if it's like taken from somewhere and thrown there. No, it could be. Could be. Interesting. You didn't show that right in. No. Okay, Thank good. you. Thank you. Here's the dog. Oh, and it's not just a Yorkie. It's like a toy. It's like a, a teacup. teacup. Yeah. Oh, there's no shot. That shit was like the no, size man. of his whole <laughs> his whole body. There's no shot that that was the dog that was from the dog. Yeah, yeah. that seems unlikely. Zero percent chance that's from the dog. Yeah. yeah. Somebody in the chat said, "I know." Three women that have shit on their ex's belongings. One hundred percent, she shit what? on the bed. <laughs> Three? Wow. Why do people yeah, do that? I call I in. <laughs> call in. We need to speak to you. How do you know what three separate incidents Three? of women shitting on? What do you? What do you? What, what's your theory that women just get angry and shit all over the place? <laughs> <laughs> well, my maybe it's just the crowd they're running with. Who on my is, bed? Is this a common tactic? <laughs> as, far, as far as I know, I don't know any anybody that's. Does, I never heard anybody. Of it. Stuff, Those emotional so. women. Yeah. I tell you what, man, I'm tired of women shitting on my belongings. <laughs> this the fourth time a woman shit on my belongings, man. My wife left a whopper poo on my bed. There you go. What? What that I think from? it's in that was from when we talked about this yeah. like okay. two years ago. Yeah, when this first the story first broke. That's how long this has been going through the courts. So that's a text, I guess, John, Johnny. Uh -oh. <laughs> Do you feel he's a little too old to go by Johnny? I feel weird when I call him Johnny. Johnny is age independent. Really? Yeah, no yeah you can be an old Johnny. Johnny. Okay, it just seems like a little youthful. <laughs> what would it, just Jonathan? Yeah, John. Jonathan Depp? Depp? John. John is like not Johnny Depp. He's not a Johnny. He's, Johnny he's fucking, a John. He's Johnny Depp. It's a he's brand at this point. He's too fucking old to be Johnny. He's not he's just a John. At like 50. Like, I don't know. He's I'm not just now. a John. I fart in the bathroom. I've changed. <laughs> Does anyone feel like Johnny? He's too old for Johnny. Nah. Just me. Uh, no. I. You're on your own. He's on that definitely one, not a John. Jonathan Depp. Uh, yeah. He's not a Jonathan. Weirdly, Depp. weirdly, <laughs> Jonathan Depp doesn't bother me as much. He's not a John. 
John Depp. It's yeah, like, who Jonathan the fuck Depp. Is John it's Depp. time to. It's time to be. At a certain age, you become John. Jonathan Depp is he's like Johnny. distinguished sounding. He's, he's, he's Johnny. 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 He's yes, Johnny. Papa. <laughs> John Depp. What about Johnny Cash? Johnny Cash. Johnny Depp. Right. What? Uh, what? Johnny Cash. Yeah, Johnny yeah. Cash. I mean, he's the heck. Johnny Cash. He should have been Jonathan too. Think so. Johnny Knoxville. Jonathan. Jonathan His real name is John Christopher Depp the second. That why can't he be that? It's kind of badass. The second. There it is. My uh, initial response to that was. I mean, I laughed. I, I, the, it was so outside. It was so bizarre. So bizarre. And so grotesque. <laughs> that I could only laugh. Um, oh man, <laughs> this is so weird. Why she? Um, why she get? She up there looking like Hillary Clinton or some shit? I don't know. <laughs> The whole vibe is like giving me Hillary. You laugh. Um, and um, so I did not go down there that day. I did not go down there that day, my friends. There was a massive, what did you call it? Human fecal matter. No, no, no. The sound bite you played? A uh, whopper. A whopper. massive my whopper in my bed. A whopper poo on my <laughs> bed. <laughs> Uh, Amber's lawyers accused Johnny of being obsessed with Elon Musk. Uh oh, guilty, guilty. Okay, can I ask who the what the fuck is this? It has two likes. Where'd you even find this? Shit? You know how long me and Zach were looking for videos that <laughs> yeah, were all like pro Johnny edits. Mm. Fan cam. Somehow. We're trying to keep it neutral because yeah, yeah the, the internet neutral. is flooded with pr like yeah. Johnny stands putting together meme edits that. You know, <laughs> so finding just it like it does seem like in general. And again, I'm not familiar enough to have an opinion. Honestly, I haven't followed it at all. But people hate Amber and love Johnny. Johnny, yes, Papa. At the moment, he seems to be winning the battle in the court of public opinion. Yes, oh, definitely. Yeah, but I feel like he has been for a while. Uh, perhaps. Yeah, I mean, people hate her. Like hate her. Well, the thing is, is that. You know. What did she do other than the poop? Like, what are we talking about? Well, the, the big incident that people point to was the one where she... was it? it was like a wine bottle or something that she threw, and it, like, deeply gashed his finger to the point that it almost, like, cut it off. Mm. Well, um, people hate her for ruining his life, and they think she lied. So they think she falsely accused him of something? They falsely accused him of, of abuse, and then... They actually think he, she abused him, mm. so right. people like li hate her. She allegedly cheated on him with Elon Musk. Yeah, I heard that. Mm. I don't think that. I think that's real. Oh, that's why he's obsessed with Elon. Right. Because she, she mm -hmm. was with Elon. Mm -hmm. I heard Elon Musk is a witness, or is supposed to be a witness. Oh my! God. No way! Really? He's gonna yeah, get called. I called to the stage. Yesterday. Elon Musk. That's wild. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. So, 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 so. Basically, uh, yeah. They're so saying she punched him and hit him all the time. Yeah. They, well, there's a recording of it where she admits to uh, hitting him, and she's like, "Don't be a baby. Don't be a baby. That's not mm. a hit." Comments are: She is the abuser. She absolutely abused and lied about him. People, there's been a lot of ca character uh, testimony in, in favor of Johnny. Mm. All of his, a lot of his exes came out and made character statements saying that he was never violent. He never abused them. They ha amicably part ways. And that's crazy. So, so he has a lot of character testimony from his exes. Because usually, when people are violent, there's a there is a uh, pattern, right? People yeah. saying she punched him, threw pans at him. So in the chat people are well if that's all true she is really evil then right i don't see anyone here supporting johnny let's do a poll no amber you mean nobody you... supporting her right right yeah. yeah who do you support amber turd or johnny johnny yes papa i'm gonna do a third option that they are both abusive to each other to uh both just say both to, yeah right <laughs> Equal blame. Whose side are you on? Johnny, Amber, both to blame. 
Yeah, we gotta end the podcast soon. Let, let me ask you a different question. I can't listen to music. Boom, boom, boom. Here, let me watch this while you guys vote. Y'all found this two like post. You'll find out. We've got 81% Johnny. There it is. Second place, both to blame at 16. Per, or actually, just jumped There's up to 20. There's nobody in Amber Turd's yeah, corner. Yeah, we got 3% on Amber. Only 3% are in Amber Turd's corner. That's pretty wild. So, no. There is a fact about this that I should point out. Yeah. There already was one case where he sued the son in the UK for libel or defamation. I guess it's libel because it was written, right? Uh, because they published an article saying that, uh, you know, that he was like a wife beater. Um, and he sued them for libel and he lost that. So yeah. in that previous case, it was found that it was, you know, tr at least true enough that they had not libeled him by labeling him. A wife beater. Um, I don't think that means no, anything. That no, it, it, yeah. and again, it's just like the con the these are very narrow. Just, that's why I was pointing out with this case is it's not actually even this trial isn't determining whether or not she abused him. It's determining whether or not she lied about yeah. him abusing her. I mean, he's suing her for and defamation. So, so. Right. But the fact that he lost his case doesn't mean that it doesn't mean anything. Yeah. I don't know what's the defamation libel laws in the UK, but they're like, pretty intense, actually. Losing doesn't doesn't mean anything. But anyway, what's this clip? In addition to that, she also was dating Elon Musk by this time. You'll find out that Mr. Deb is obsessed with Elon Musk, but she's dating him, so he gives five hundred thousand. That's it. What's that do for me? <laughs> That's going viral with music, that one, because it's funny that he just laughed at her defense attorney saying that uh, he's it's going viral for what? what is he's it? just saying a version of that with like goofy music. Yeah, it has gone viral. He found one that didn't have the music for you know copyright reasons. Okay, very good. Uh, oh, here's the pro Johnny edits. You just add these. Awesome. I want to oh, see the pro. Oh, these are these all have music though. These, the, that's the one I sent Discord was one of those. I want pro Johnny edit. Objection calls for hearsay. Yeah, okay, I can't hear it. It's just him laughing and being like, oh. Uh, all Amber like Heard says that Johnny would hang out with old people playing guitar. Is that a bad thing? And those old people happen to what be else like did Ms. Heard Alice Cooper, Keith Richards. Keith oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like it's just a rolling stone, you know. Even without the context, it's still not a bad thing. Sure, yeah. But I like how she just described <laughs> What else did Miss Heard say about feeling insecure? She told me she didn't like hanging out in his house with his friends because it, it was boring and they were all old men playing guitars and it wasn't interesting to her. What else did Miss Heard say? That's it. About mm. feeling interesting. Johnny speaking with opposing counsel. Yes, Papa. Yes, Papa. But you te texted Paul Bettany, correct? Can y'all not put music? This is why we're Maybe. finding two like versions <laughs> of these clips because so many of them have like goofy music on it. All right, well, anyway, you guys get the idea. We're. Yeah, so there you go, free Johnny Depp or whatever, or skip, or kill Johnny Depp, free him, whatever you, whatever you guys say, awesome. Didn't read. What's that one <laughs> copy pasta? <laughs> Congratulations, Congrats. or I'm sorry. I, I'm happy for you, oh. or sorry. Didn't read. <laughs> Didn't read. Yeah. <laughs> no, but free Johnny Depp, you know. Amber Turd. For those of you guys who found the vlog to be offensive, I'm sorry you did. For those of you who didn't find it to be offensive, I'm sorry they did. Worst apology ever. <laughs> yeah, well, 97% are in favor of Johnny, so, so fuck Amber Turd. Hope she burns in hell. I'm just saying that to please don't, you know, just leave me out of it. <laughs> Yes, the, I'm going to end the poll. 76% Johnny, 21% both to blame. Yeah. 3% uh, uh, Only 3% yeah. are on her side. Oh, only 3%. Fuck Amber Turd. And people are joking that the 3% is their, their fingers slip when they went to go vote. So. Apparently there's a lot of like, he's got all these texts and audio recordings. And he has shit. a lot more hard evidence 
than she does from from my understanding. He was like, prepared. He has recordings Damn, and that's stuff. Crazy. So yeah, that definitely. Uh... Yeah. So I hope she dies. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh no. no too far. No, too I'm just. Far. I, listen. I just don't want people to be mad at me. Just tell me what to say. <laughs> Johnny Depp forever. Amber Turd. I hope she fucking perishes in a burning fire. No. Too far. Too far. I hope Still that she gets what's coming to her. Uh, legal. I hope someone shits in her bed. Yeah. Exactly. Right. See how you feel. There you go. That's insane. There you go. No. Of course, I don't wish death on her. But something slightly worse than death. Uh, a sleeping with Keemstar. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Too, Too far. far. Too worse than death. Too worse than death. Too far. Worse than death. It's cruel and unusual. <laughs> <laughs> Your punishment is you have to spend the evening with Keemstar in his basement bar. Kill Daddy. me! No! Daddy. I'll take the electric chair, Your Honor. Oh, can you find that tweet? Uh, show me. Uh, before we go, this is the last thing. Kingstar's got this tweet pin that is just so funny. I just want to acknowledge that it's like the funniest thing ever. People have been circulating this fake tweet of Kingstar. <laughs> I'm pretty sure people know it's fake and they're just fucking with him. <laughs> but Kingstar's panicking. He he pinned this. Is this still pinned? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so he pinned this. This was on white people Twitter. <laughs> And it's been going. Been I saw it all over the place. It was like really. It was. On it's circulating. Yeah, yeah. It's on Reddit. So the fake tweet of Keemstars. It says, "I don't give a shit what anyone says. Sex with younger and less experienced girls is always better." <laughs> the problem with women I've been with lots of men is that they're far more prone to say mean things about your dick and how bad you are at sex. Now, what's funny about this tweet is that although he never wrote that, you know that that's what he feels, and that's why it's so funny. <laughs> or at least it seems plausible enough to enough people to that mm -hmm. they continue to good. circulate it. That's yeah. not good for if people look at that and be like, yeah, that seems mm -hmm. So whatever you guys do, do not spread this fake tweet around the internet. Yeah, this Take is not real. He did not actually say this. But so do not spread this around the internet, you guys. Because it really bothers Keemstar. And the last thing we want <laughs> is to spread this fake tweet all around the internet. Ride my fucking dick. Yes, totally. So Kimstar, uh, he had to pin it, and he said, I can't believe I even have to address this. But someone made this <laughs> fake tweet of me on Reddit a few weeks ago, and I just assumed most people knew it was fake. Every single day, it keeps getting more viral, and now it's taking over TikTok. For the record, I never tweeted this. Exactly. He never tweeted this, so don't spread it all over the Internet. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. Because <laughs> we don't want Kimstar to get bothered by this fake tweet that everyone's spreading around the internet that he never said. But even though we know that, that it's true, what, we know it's tr that he thinks that, but he never wrote it. I'm busted. <laughs> it's so funny, though. Do people actually think that this is real? Like, who would write? The problem with women... I see, have, people, I see people, people in the do. chat saying, I, I saw this, I thought, I totally thought a it was real. <laughs> a lot of people think it's I real. I think that says more because, about Kim Star. Yeah, I mean, yeah really <laughs> But just imagine, the problem with women who have been with lots of men is that they're far more prone to say mean things about your dick and how bad you are at sex. Why would he write that? That's fucking hilarious, bro. <laughs> people say, stop touching your face. I have a headache. I have like a pressure point here when I have a headache. I, mm. I push here in it. I don't know why it alleviates my fucking pain. How did you guys think it was real? That's so funny that you thought it was real. That's awesome. I think when I first saw it, I, I was like, oh my god, I have to go check if this is real. Kind of like, that was my reaction. <laughs> <laughs> well, the first part is believable. I don't give a shit when anyone says sex with the younger and less experienced girls is always better. That I mean, he, he had such... Like crazy tweets in the past year that it's yeah. not that hard to believe. Like the one about the women over forty that are people are <laughs> unattractive to him. Yeah, that, if that I looks saw like a fake tweet. If I saw that, I might think that was fake. It's so dumb. Yeah. Um, people, a lot of people saying that uh, they thought it was real. I thought it was real. Well, there you go. So it's not fake. So sit, do not, you guys no, understand. It's not real. It's not a real tweet, but so don't post it to TikTok. <laughs> don't post it to Twitter. Don't post it to Reddit. Don't post it to Instagram. 
<laughs> YouTube, whatever. Wherever you post, wherever you think people would enjoy this fake tweet, do not post it there because it really bothers Keemstar. You like right? You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Romeo and Julia. Yeah. Don't spread it, guys. Come on. It seems like it does really good on TikTok, so don't spread it there. <laughs> Someone said, I, I physically know in my being that Keemstar is bad at sex. <laughs> Somebody said something fresh and fit would say. Yet, unironically, they probably would. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> like, that really for does. Sure. That's like straight out of their playbook. Oh, so fun. Wait, so wait, 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 before we go, we have to decide on a title. So this isn't serious. Oh, Keemstar, the Keemstar tweet that's the, totally 100% fake. The one time we have to defend Keemstar. No. Yeah, yeah, totally defending him. Don't post it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I should post it on TikTok and be like, this is 100% not a real tweet. I mean, that's exactly what he did when he, any controversy he's in with the whole mm -hmm. leafy thing or uh, saying that he's Theodore's father or whatever the dirty yeah. shit he said. He goes, I I'm not the father. I didn't sleep with this person. I didn't do this. That's his, uh, his go-to. That's a fake tweet. Yeah. That's not what I'm doing. I'm trying to defend yeah, him. I actually love that we have nothing to do with it. I got nothing to do with this tweet. <laughs> That was dreamed up of some, by somebody else, you know. A uh, ten-year-old fan right away. Mm -hmm. uh, Say that again. What? A uh, ten-year-old fan right away. Whoa! What mm -hmm. does that mean, Came? I need more context to that. Can you elaborate? We do need to um, head back. All right, title. So we talked about Keemstar. We talked about Johnny Depp, Amber Turd. We told stories. Mm -hmm. And we did Ace Family. Ace Family. We did uh, at the top of the document. What did we do? Kim Kardashian. Kim we, K. We did right. a little taste test of some beans on toast. Beans on toast. So, what are you guys feeling here for a title? What's the most compelling top topic? I mean, a lot of people. Beans on amber turd. Someone suggested. Yeah, Noodle a lot soup. of people want to talk <laughs> about beans amber, on amber turd. turd. Yeah, I think keep that one in the title. Amber turd. Yeah. Johnny free, Depp, free Johnny Depp and Amber, like actually Amber Turd or Amber oh, and Tim Pool. Someone said Tim Stool and Amber Turd. Yo, <laughs> that's good. But it, it's good, but like it, nobody's gonna click that. As good as it is, Keemstar, Ace Family, and Johnny Depp walk oh. into a bar. Nobody cares about Keemstar. I'm just reading comments. Yeah, I mean people are liking Tim Stool and Amber Turd. That is pretty epic, but I don't know that people are going to click that. I mean, it's a big story. At least that Amber part's a big story. All right, but just let's do topics. Let's narrow it down. So top one is Amber Johnny Depp v. Amber Turd. Second one is Tim Pool. Third, uh, Ace Family, I don't give a fuck about. I think Kim, Kim Kardashian. Kim K. Beans and Toast. No, because people are going to vote for that, and I'm not doing Beans and Toast. Oh, you're asking me to put up a poll for me? Oh, we did. Yeah. Poll? Oh, for what? We're gonna get that. We're gonna get. I want to see what the people think. We can just put all those three. Yeah, just put yeah, all I mean, of those in the that title. That yeah. seems great. Okay, That's cool. We're on a roll there. there. Okay, cool. Then do yeah. that. So we got, and then, uh, what else do we do? Tim Pool, Kim K, Beans on Toast. Am I actually writing Amber Turd, or am I writing her name? What about? Just, <laughs> just do a real name. Okay. What about me and Faze Banks become friends and I defend Keemstar? It's <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. I'm so fucking angry. I'm so fucking angry. Keemstar L. Keemstar, L. another L for Keemstar, eh? All right, so what do you got, Dan? Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard. Uh, Kim K. Beans on toast. No bean. Boom. Wait, what about Tim Stool? Nobody cares about Tim Stool. Beans on toast has more pull than Tim Stool? Yes, unironically. We talked about it for a long time on Wednesday. Amber Turd. Defending Keemstar people like that because it's so unexpected. At the very fucking last second of a three hour podcast, though. Tim Pool's throws. Tim Pool is the roast. Wow. Kim Shartatian 
An amber <laughs> turd Suro box. <laughs> Kim Shart. <laughs> Oh god. We're still alive. Yeah, we are still yeah, alive. Yeah, we are alive. <laughs> okay, baby. All right. All right. Put <laughs> it in the happening? put it in the uh Discord. Let me see the title <laughs> that you wrote out. Okay. By the way, this is the real tweet that he wrote, which is pretty nuts. Yeah. You guys keep telling me to date some of my own age. I googled 39 year old woman. I will not be listening to you guys. If you remember where you were on 9-11, I'm not interested. Bro. And then I mean, the pictures she showed were equivalent. from missing women. It is, it is. This is totally equivalent. It is. So I guess I can see why people think it was real. <laughs> right. But these, and then the best part is these are all missing women. Not all. Or not two all. of them or Somewhere, something. Somewhere, yeah. yeah. What a fucking loser to tweet. Uh, what? Holy God. I sent it to you, by the way, if you want to. Peep that. Nice rod. That crypto shit. Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard, Kim K defending Keemstar. Kim K, fuck Kim K, just do defending Keemstar. All right. After that. Uh, nobody, nobody cares about Kim K, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, who cares? Uh, I don't know. I would not care about Keemstar. Keemstar in the title. Exactly. Yeah, you wouldn't? No. You wouldn't no, put defending Keemstar? No. I personally, I crazy? would, but I don't. No, I think I'm, it's good. I don't it's know about not these good. guys. It's not How, good. Why isn't nah. it good? Because just the off chance that one person will not know that it's a joke is not worth it. Good point. I would like to change yeah. my. And there's, I rest there's, my case. There's and there's some some people are just hate him to the point of not even wanting to laugh at him and just don't want to hear about it. You know what I mean? Yeah, so I'm even seeing no Keem. Stop. Okay. There it is. Remove Thank Keem. Kardashian. Just Kim Kardashian versus Roblox. Kim or Kim K Kim versus Roblox. Kim Kardashian. Kim Shartashian. <laughs> Shartashian? Tim Turd. Or Tim. Amber Turd. <laughs> Tim Poo. Wait, no, no. What? And Kim no, Shartashian. No, Tim Stool. <laughs> or Tim Stool. All right, let's just go for it. <laughs> and then Beans on Toast. Which is basically. Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard. Kim no, K. No, no, no. So, see, we need a scat play on Johnny Depp. Right. Uh, oh, that's not goes. good. Johnny Def the Kate. Johnny Def the Kate. Not very good. <laughs> not very <laughs> good. Who knows the fuck we're talking Johnny about? Depp. <laughs> Johnny Depp. I guess Johnny Depp versus Amber Turd, Tim Stool, Char Kim Shartashian, <laughs> and Beans and Toast. Johnny Poop. How, how does that help, Kim? <laughs> He's trying, he's trying. <laughs> Johnny Dupe. Johnny Dupoop. Johnny Duke. Johnny Depp versus John, Amber Johnny Turd. Johnny Dukey? Dukey. Does anyone have any ideas? I'm sure the chat's gonna throw some on. Yeah, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny Dump. Johnny Dump. <laughs> Johnny Dump. Johnny Dump. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a weird scat. <laughs> Johnny, Johnny Dump versus Amber Turd. <laughs> 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 Wait, so Johnny right Dump? Do you guys like is oh, that it was the best? Pretty funny. <laughs> Johnny Deuce? Johnny Deuce, interesting. That I feel like I that's think Dump. I, I think Dump is funny. Okay, so yeah. we have Johnny Dump versus Amber Turd. <laughs> <laughs> or Johnny Duke. Johnny Dukey. Tim Stool, Kim Shartashian. <laughs> and Beans and Toast. <laughs> beans and Toast. <laughs> After dark number seven. Johnny Fecal Matter. Johnny Fecal. <laughs> Are we gonna get yellow for all the shit references? Most yes. likely. So I mean, then let's then I'm out. Oh, it's, not why? it's not worth it, bro. We got yellow in the last episode. Why, what uh, do you want? I have no sponsors and all my episodes are getting yellow. Do oh, you want a job? Someone said Johnny Depp. Oh, Johnny Defecation case against Amber Turd. <laughs> oh no, you can't write like defecation good. and turd. <laughs> right, right, We're gonna right, get right. fucked. Then just call just it beans on toast and fucking deposition. The deposition, just beans on toast. Yes, the beans on toast special extravaganza. No, really? No, not really. Thank you. Just do the regular version. All right, someone said. <laughs> Go back. We're doing the boring. Here title. we got. Here's the thumbnail, Eula. <laughs> <laughs> Oh Dude, that's God. fire! That's fire. I clicked that. That is not fire. That is fire. Oh, no, that will not be something I would click <laughs> With on. the meme shirt. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, what's that title? Working title? Oh my um, God. It's, I, I guess Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard, Tim Pool, Kim Kardashian. Beans Johnny on. Depp so versus good. Amber Heard. Wait, write out a new one, cause look, write it, write it in Discord. I feel like we could go to a stool. Turd is a. Ah, it's not worth it. We're gonna get yellowed. <laughs> I'm running a business here for Not sake. worth it. How about Amber took a massive steamer fucking <laughs> shit? And oh, Amber bed. Juicer. Amber <laughs> Juicer. I like that. Amber. Yeah. All right, new title. Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard, Tim Pool, Kim Kardashian's Beans on Toast. Yes, there we go. Oh, it's so boring. Sorry. It's so much worse. All right. Fine. <laughs> Johnny but, Dump. Do, does anyone... Johnny Dump. <laughs> Johnny Dump versus Amber Turd. It's so much better. You guys think anyone gives a f single fuck about Tim Pool and Kim Kardashian, though? No, not... Well, Kim K, yeah, but Tim Pool, no. What do you guys think? Yeah, Tim Pool, no, you can take him out. Yeah, fuck Tim Pool. Nobody gives a shit about Tim Pool. I like... Well, then just put Kim Kardashian versus Roblox. I, nobody cares about that either! <laughs> Johnny Depp versus Amber Turd, Beans on Toast, fucking Bonanza. <laughs> now we're do talking. a poll, do a poll. If There's nobody cares about these topics, why didn't we... We only talked about Johnny Depp at the very end. That's what I'm saying. It's doo doo. <laughs> All right, do a poll, Dan. Would do you care in the title? Do you think it's helpful to include Tim Pool? You do Tim Pool, Kim Kardashian, or both, or none? And now be honest. We're doing this is a serious survey. We need to know if having this in the title is interesting to you. This is high-level market research. <laughs> I think if you want to be involved in YouTube in any way, this is great research. <laughs> like, to actually see how much goes into it. I'm sure a lot of people are grateful. I'm grateful for the market research. For the real... Everybody says neither. Some people say Kim K. Maybe that's enough for people interested in Kim K. Nobody gives a fuck about Tim Pool and his slot buckets. Yeah. Well, some people say both. Kim K is like Kim K is looking like it's worth it, eh? Yeah. So let's do Kim K versus Roblox. You do realize we spend so much time talking about Tim Pool and nobody cares about him. Well, it's funny, but nobody's fucking. We didn't actually talk about Tim Pool as much as we talked about slot buckets for a good while. <laughs> right, okay. Which the slot buckets were funny. Good I love point. people go. You're going after sponsors. I'm like the slot buckets. <laughs> we stand it up. Going for the after buckets. the slot buckets. <laughs> They're not dropping him. He's the only one that will fucking promote that shit. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so you know, you know, they paid Tim Pool for the slot bucket spots in buckets. slot buckets. <laughs> that's exactly. Why, that's why he has so many in his home. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> All right, Johnny Deppers, Amber Heard. No, remove the Tim Pool. Yeah, it's gone. Kim Kardashian so, versus so Roblox beans it. on toast. Oh my goodness. Just copy paste. How I, are you am, I am. I am. I am. There you go. Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard. Kim Kardashian versus Roblox. Roblox. Beans. Take the beans on toast out for Christ's sake. What do you mean? That's the best part. Nobody's <laughs> even reading that. Fucking. All right. Leave the beans on. No. Take it out. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why? All right. What harm could it do? <laughs> what the fuck is even this? I want the beans on toast. I'd rather see. No. I'd rather see Amber Heard than a beans on toast. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> But like, three minutes ago you wanted it to be funny, now you don't want it to be funny anymore. Yeah, because I can't- well, it's not funny. What's funny about Beans on Toast? You just want poop in the title, dude. Yeah. It's fun- <laughs> Beans on Toast is funny after all the scat references. On its- oh, by yeah. itself, it's not of doing course, much. Of course, without that, mm. you're right. A lot of people said both, though. So if you oh include God. both, you're still- A lot of people, no, no. it's at the <laughs> third lo it's at the bottom no, of the poll! I'm saying, if you include both no. and Tim Pool together, that's 17%. It's not- No! Enough. <laughs> okay, so, um, so, what's the new title? And remove the fucking beans on toast. It's exactly what I just sent to you, minus the beans on toast. So get the hell- get the beans on toast out of there, and it's let gone. me see Amber turn. <laughs> oh my god. You wait. In the thumbnail. Cam. Copy that, Cam. What the hell is going on around here? 
Cam, do you hear me? Well, she, he said, "Got it." Ian, Ian has the thumbnail today because. Uh, oh, was, that was Ian. I was yeah. doing the. How Roblox. are you switching and making a thumbnail, Ian? <laughs> he's got three monitors, <laughs> baby. Buttons, he's the great. He's the goat. What? The goat. How's that possible? <laughs> I mean, he's, he's the got goat. three monitors. He's got VMix on one and Photoshop on the other. He's what are you afraid of, Ian? Don't you have to? Okay. This, the camera's just on you. It's little, impressive. Little, little cut, little F5, it's little... It's impressive. He's like the guy from Spirited Away. Little crap. Who was in the end of the game with eight arms. Remember? That's right. And the little soot creatures. I want to see that fan art. Somebody somebody give me Ian as the, uh, <laughs> the doctor guy from Spirited yeah. Away. All right, so I think we're settled then. Johnny Depp versus Amber Turd. Kim Kardashian versus Roblox. It's all in the thumbnail. This is so awesome. Okay, we got to go. Okay, actually. this is epic. What what happened? That we figured out the fucking title. Yeah, it's great. I agree. I just said it was epic. Yeah. One final shout out to the cards that we're selling. Very limited edition. Will never be sold again. Right. Ever. 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 The H three. Link in the description. Trading. Yeah. Oh. I didn't know we had a trailer. Yep. Let's Made by Cameron. Himself. Wait, why didn't we show this? We were trying I, we to get... told you to. <laughs> no, well, AV's put the phone in my hand, and then, like, we're all set up You're and like, ready. It's fine. I'm just gonna that, show this. Yeah, Dan said it, and you were Wait, like, Wait, whose oh, hand was that? It's already here. That was Sam. Oh, this hand, I don't know. That's Rap Trader. No, that's uh, oh, okay. Rap Trader, bro. Yeah. Well, there was a woman's <laughs> hand. I wasn't sure whose hand. Sam. That was Sam. That's Sam, um, yeah. Oh, okay. There it is. Rap Trader is the goat, dude. The goat. The freaking the goat. goatiest, goatiest goat. Shout out! Shout, Shout out. out to the G O A T. All right, we gotta go. We're all good. We got our thumbnail. Hope you guys have fun. We'll see you on Monday. Everybody, everybody, have a great, great weekend. It's Friday, baby. Woo! 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 You're watching next to the three, 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 three